Yo, Jay. Good morning, my friend. How are you? It is Sunday, finally. And I'm really tired. <laughs> but we'll get this show on the road in a minute. If you don't mind, I'll just have to set some things up. And then we go. Transfer my cell phone over and we start warming up a little bit today. Whew, I feel like I need it. Good morning. There we are. Hey, how's it going, dude? Whew. Okay. So I'm really tired, so I was thinking of starting at a zero streak, but I think we have a seven from last time. That's not too bad. Doesn't really matter if we miss this one, it's fine. I'll just do it really carefully. Um this looks like this looks like uh, North America to me. Angus Drive. It's a little bit sunny though, isn't it? I mean, we're driving on the right-hand side of the road anyway. But is this Canada or the U.S.? I still have the weirdest feeling about this place. Hmm. It's probably fine. So what, I, yeah, I forgot to say as well. What I normally do is we start out with country streaks, obviously chat assisted. So if you want to chime in, uh, if you see things that I miss, if you have a feeling that I don't have uh, about where this could be, let me know. Uh, and then once we have enough people in here, we transfer on over to uh, Chatcaster and keep going. That's the way I like to do it. So that we don't start out with like a, like a 1v1 chat guesser, because I, I mean it works, but I like this format better. Uh, Scotia Bank. So I'm thinking Nova Scotia, which I think would indicate Canada, right? Also the Canadian flag. There we go. Good enough. Boom. All right, well. Good enough. Eight. We're up to eight. What a time to be alive. Whew. Okay. This looks like Ireland to me. That, that looks like a lot of damage. Oof. Is, is it drivable still? I mean, going by the parking job, probably not. That is a lot of damage. Okay. We do have white backplates, which should indicate Ireland, probably. Hey, Espen, dude, hey, good morning. And no space as well. Good morning, my friend. How are ya? Good morning. It's so early. It really isn't, but it feels like it is, and I'm super tired. <laughs> How's everybody? I'm so happy to have you here. I hope it's been a good one. How was your weekend so far? I'd love to know. Like, I'd actually love to know. I'd, I'm not only asking because I don't have anything else to talk about. I'm curious. I'm super curious about your weekend. Thorndale Park. You know, that still doesn't exclude the Republic of Ireland, does it? Dot IE. There we go. Good enough. Sending it. <laughs> Boom. All right. Can we make it into the double digits, though, with this? This is going to be... Turkey. No, it isn't. I see Cyrillic. Cyrillic and sunny, though. I know there's a flag. Oh, it's North Macedonia. 
you did a lot of progress on the Skyrim project. Hell yeah. You know, I'd love to see the uh, behind the scenes thing. Wait, I need to turn on the music quite a bit, don't I? There we go. I would love to see the behind the scenes works on that a little bit. Like nothing spoilery, obviously, but that sounds so cool. And I have no idea what goes into it behind the scenes. That's awesome. Did you start doing uh, like voice lines and stuff yet? Eritan, good morning, my friend. How are ya? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Or good afternoon, maybe. Depending, maybe. I'll stick with good morning for like 45 more minutes because it's not even noon yet. You know? Oh, you got some visitors from your hometown? Espen hung out, had some beers in the sun. That sounds absolutely awesome. God, I love that. I love that. I got to spend some time in the sun yesterday as well. Uh, I woke up super early and uh, went riding for like seven or eight hours. Speaking of Turkey, by the way. Um, and then I had a family barbecue in the uh, just to cap the day off. It was so good. I loved it. I loved it. A lot of sun. I mean, I, I wore mo motorcycle clothes for most of the day, so I didn't really, you know get to feel the sun other than being super hot you know both like super hot and the super hot um and the super hot and the yeah you know <laughs> but uh yeah it was nice it was really nice i mean i did pull off to the side of the road from time to time to have some water the way that i do um and just enjoy the sun as well I had such a good day yesterday it wasn't really restful but it was nice. It was fun and it was nice. This is Singapore, isn't it? The black and white stripy curves, the look of the place, the, the high rises, the names of the streets, everything fits with Singapore. Here we go. I really want to go to Singapore, by the way, guys. Should I? Should I go to Singapore? I feel like I should. Now this one. Now this one, though. Seems familiar, but I cannot put my finger on it. Ah! Ah! There's some language over there. The three bars on the crosswalk sign should indicate... Normally I would say it should indicate Russia or like... Uh, I want to say Estonia. But I don't think this is either of those two. Because that's Cyrillic. Is it? Actually, now I need to double check. <laughs> I don't trust anything. I don't trust anything anymore. 12th streak, nice. Yeah, we're working on it. We're highballing this one. Uh, all right, we definitely have Cyrillic. Definitely. This is not Greek at all, and I don't even know why you would su suggest such a thing. Um, <laughs> I definitely know the difference. Uh, sunny and Cyrillic, though. I was thinking Bulgaria there for a minute, but I'm not seeing any blue tags on the cars. I think. So maybe Russia? I'm not seeing any blue and yellow tags either, you know? This doesn't look like Russia, though, does it? I don't think so. We do have an antenna. Boo boo, hey my friend, how are you? A little bit early today, yeah, I'm tired. Uh, but I do try to do the whole, like I, I jump on directly after work in the, uh, like in the uh, weekdays, but in the weekends, I try to start it up a little bit earlier. Um, mainly because it's a good day to do so for me, because I can, I can do the stream thing and then still have a dinner in the uh, in the evening and everything without having to rush it the way that I normally do. Because normally I end, end stream at around like 8-ish and that's already way late for me to have a dinner. So, uh, yeah. I, today I'll probably have dinner at like a normal time for me. Okay, I have no idea where this is. I still want to say Russia. Also a little tired, I get that for sure. 
We're gonna we're gonna hang out and chill today, I think, right? Nothing high intensity. That <laughs> as if and every anything we ever do is high intensity here, but I like it. That's the way I like it. But yeah, O Space, did you uh, did you start doing the voice lines yet for the uh, for the Skyrim project? I'm curious. I know there's a Discord thing I could check, but you know, that's too much work. Ah, <laughs> uh, what else? I'm I'm about to send Russia on this one. Oh, if I could show you some Cyrillic, you could read it. What about this? That's definitely not Cyrillic, though. The way that this is doubled up like this makes me think that it's not Russia. And the, um, uh, there's just something about the vibe that makes me think it's not Russia. I mean, I don't know why I'm zooming in on this when I literally have a translation down here. <laughs> now that I think about it, let's see if we can find anything else. What about these? I mean, the same thing, though. Huh. But we do not have blue tags on any of the plates. That's the one thing that's making me think Russia here. Because to my knowledge, every other country that uses Cyrillic should have some sort of a tag on the left-hand side of the plate, like a blue tag for the EU, or uh, the, the uh, blue and yellow, which I feel like I can kind of see there. But I think that's just an artifact. It's the same thing over there. Huh. Unsure. Unsure for sure. Hmm. Almost done filling the spreadsheet with the main quest lines. Nice. Fun concepts and reimagining parts of the story. Oh, that sounds... That sounds cool. There's a lot of work in there, isn't it? I feel like the project is going to be way bigger than I anticipate. And that sounds so much fun. You don't think it's Russia, but you don't know what else. See, yeah, that's what I'm saying as well. I'm not feeling Russia, but I don't see what else it could be. What about like far eastern part of Russia? I'm looking at the steering wheels here, by the way, because in the far, far eastern, right, you'll find a lot of cars with the steering wheel on the left hand side or on the right hand side uh, because they import a lot of cars from Japan. But I'm not seeing any evidence of that here. At all. I mean, look at the look at the vegetation and everything. Huh. Taxi? That is a taxi. Is there any sort of meta regarding taxis? I don't know any. At all. It's Ukraine, probably. Wouldn't we see the, the blue and yellow tag on the license plates, though? Hey, by the way, Spyrus, good morning. How are you? How are you doing, my friend? Um, I I could agree with uh, with Ukraine as well, but I'm not seeing any like specific known meta for, for Ukraine. Uh, I would have expected like a, maybe a red car. Um, like I said, the blue and yellow tag on the license plates, and I'm, I'm definitely not seeing that on any of these cars. Hmm. Oh, do we have a flag? We do, don't we? <gasps> Dot are you? Dot are you? It is Russia. What? I don't get it. I, I'm actually curious to see where this ends up being. We've seen palm trees. We've seen a lot of. I mean, this has a little bit of a bulk. Vulcan vibe to it. I'm super curious to ask which city this is. I'm gonna send it. Oh, we're way down there. Okay. I don't think I've seen coverage down there before. That's cool. We're up th up to 13 already. Nice. All right. All right. Now we're in the Balkans, though. This is definitely Balkan, isn't it? De probably definitely Balkan. We have some signs over here. Oh, it's Greece. Oh, it is Greece. I had a discussion with a, with a friend of mine the other day as to whether or not we should 
count Greece as a Balkan country? I don't know if it is. But it felt like that would be like a contentious issue. Or, um, you know. I don't think it is, is it? Oh. It's close. <laughs> I'm starting Greece, though. Here we go. Boom. Hell yeah. Nice. All right, we're up to 14. Can we make it a, an even 15, though? That's the big question, isn't it? Oh, Greece does count. Okay, cool. Very oh, nice. Awesome. I learned a thing today. I don't know why I thought that it wasn't. It's just... It has, like, some slight differences to it. I guess. Maybe. Balkan. Nope. Oh, sorry. Baltic. I did it again. I haven't set up a counter for that yet, but it's happened a few times. Uncle Google helped with the answer. I love Uncle Google. I mean, Uncle Google is a little bit of that creepy uncle as well, now that I think about it. You know? The uncle that just keeps track of you. Like, all day. Everywhere you move. Actually, now that I think about it, Uncle Google? Definitely the creepy uncle. Yep. Okay, this is all English. Is this going to be North America? It doesn't look like it. I've seen two separate signs with English language on it. Hmm. But this is Canada. You've got these ones. It's always going to be Canada. I don't know why. But you find them all over Canada. Like the green, sometimes blue signs with the house number on them. That's a John Deere mailbox, though. Wait a minute. I mean, sure. You know, sure. It's Canada. A leaf. A fucking leaf. Could have gone with anything, but they went with a leaf. Here we go. Boom. Okay, nice. Hell yeah. 15. With the yellow thing around the cable under the poles. I forgot about that one. I remember you telling me about that. You're right. I don't want to zoom in on people's mailboxes. Just because that might reveal like a name or an ad address. And that would feel so weird. But it would have helped. But you know, we got to find that balance. I don't really like zooming in. This is Swedish, but it kind of looks like... Kinda looks like it could be bordering Finland somewhat. But the language was definitely Swedish. Do we double check it or do we send it? This still kind of feels like it could be uh, an island or something. I don't know why. Double check it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because there is that island, you know? There is this island right here, which technically Finland, but I think you'll find a lot of Swedish language there as well. Wait, I saw a flag. Didn't I just see a flag? Yeah, I did. There we go. Split second. Notice that flag. Swedish flag. That should be good enough. I mean, we have two. I guess we have three uh, indications now. Here we go. Oh, that island only has Gen 2. See, we keep learning today. I love it. What a good way to spend a Sunday, huh? What a good way to spend a Sunday. There we go. We're up to 16. We're doing well. We're on a roll now. This is going to be Eswatini or Lesotho, I feel like. Right? With these mountains and all? And the, uh, the huts. Oh, this is Lesotho, isn't it? Right? Where do you find what country has generational coverage? I, I'm guessing that's going to be a... Um, G what is it? Geohints.com or something? Someone sent me that website. I've never really used it a whole lot. But I know it's a thing. Okay, we do have doggies. Um... With the rounded sort of... I guess they're not yurts, they're huts. I, I, I guess there's a difference, I don't know. But this is gonna be Lesotho. 
the the generation fits it's not a gen 2 camera because you can't see the the halo up top geo hints yeah there you go there you go spirus gotcha uh what else there's no shot this is like south africa or Aspertini, right i feel like i've mixed those up once before because I guess you can find the same huts outside of the Sudo. But I don't really know how to tell the difference. So I'm gonna stick with what I know. And we're gonna go to Sudo. Could this be the plateau? I know there is a plateau. We do have mountains starting north though. Those mountains are in the Sudo. And also the short grass, true. What is this? He's cute anyway. All right, sending it. Boom, there we go. There we go. We're up to 17. Oh no. Oh no, but actually? Oh no, but actually not so bad. Some of these houses and stuff, this looks like it could be Greenland to me. You know what I mean? Can we actually take me inland? See if we can jump over to the side of the road or something. Please. This is a pretty boat though, I love it. Oh, it took me back out here. No, I don't wanna be out here. Let me, let me off. Let me off, I want off this ride right now, <laughs> please. Okay, let's see what we can find from here, though, I guess. I don't know why, but my guess is going to be Greenland. What do you guys think? We have a little bit of, like, architectural things. It looks like a cold climate area. We... Oh, that's a Danish flag. That fits. Right? Is that a Danish flag? I mean, it's folded over a bunch of times, but... I think it is. Oh no, it's the green, the Greenlandic flag. It's got that circle thing in the middle, right? You, you agree with Greenland, but is it never Norway? I, ooh, good question. I don't feel Norway on this one. It's something to do with the buildings, the, the architecture. I guess it could be. But I, I'm not feeling it on this one, especially not with the, with the flags, but. Greenland sounds plausible, but not easy. It's true. True. Plates don't have an EU tag. True as well. Is there, Would that be a thing in Greenland? The houses look kind of Danish. Exactly. And Denmark doesn't have this kind of an elevation, right? So it's got to be Greenland. That's what we're left with. I'm pretty sure... I mean, Denmark is pretty flat, if you don't count Greenland. <laughs> also, Amir, good morning. How are you, dude? How are you doing? I'm gonna go ahead and send this one. I know we're at 17. It's good enough. Let's see how, uh, how good my intuition is on this one. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yo, Amir with the follow. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. How are you doing? This is Malta. Isn't it? We have a lot of sandstone houses. I want to find a street name and see if we could find the word trick. Trick. You have a lot of English there as well. That checks out. Trick. I want to find my trick meta. It's my favorite Maltese meta. See, there you go. Trick. Trickle Kuleg, I guess. It's good enough, here we go. Malta. The country with like four different languages, at least. If not more. Anania, hey dude, how are you? How are you, good morning. We're also driving left, yeah, true. Keep forgetting about that. Look at this. Nice. Could you imagine cruising the Maltese coast in this? 
that would be beautiful. It's such a cool looking place too. I love the look of sandstone. I, I It looks so warm, so inviting, so just cozy. This entire country is like a warm hug. And I like it. There we go. Boo boo with the lurker tax. Thank you, my friend. It is so important. You know, pay your taxes. There we go. Is Trick Street? Yes, it is. It's, um... I don't... Is that Arabic? Originally? Question mark? I know there's, like, four... They have, like, four different, uh... Linguistic influences. Um... On Malta. And I think Trick is one of the Arabic ones, maybe. More or less pure guesswork on my end, but still. Here we go. Boom. Boom. 19. Can we make it 20, though? Can we make it 20 before we start considering um, switching it on over to uh, Chatgaster, maybe? I mean, this says Singapore straight out, but I was gonna call it. I was gonna call it. Look at these buildings. That's insane looking. I like the slight lean to it. Wait, no, there is no slight lean to it. It was a trick of the mind. Okay. Probably a good thing anyway. I shouldn't be liking slight leans to, uh, you know, skyscrapers. Probably a bad look. Probably a bad look to them. Skyscrapers should not lean. I mean, I, I know that's a hot take, right? But still. You're in Madagascar for four days? Ananya, what? That's awesome. Good for you. Can I... Can I ask what your, uh... Is, is just a vacation or what? Singapore is your dream travel? I get that. It's definitely up there for me as well. As is Madagascar, though, to be honest. Uh, I, I just miss traveling right now. I, I'm itching to go traveling. You know? I, I'm at that stage now that when I start thinking about traveling, I get stuck on... Where do I want to go, though? I want to go everywhere, but I can't, I can't afford it. <laughs> I have to choose one, and it's, like, between 18 different places. This one, I feel like it's, it's not necessarily Greece, but we're definitely in the area. You would love to go to Singapore for an F1 race. Yeah, there you go. That sounds cool. I've never seen an F1 nah, race myself. I've been to Monaco. And I know they shut down the city there to race. At least they used to. I don't know if that's a thing anymore. But, you know. Oh, it's Italy. We have double blue plates. Double blue short plates, even. Oh, they still do. Cool. Nice. That's such a cool concept, though. It really is. And it seems so iconic. I don't know if it is, but it seems so iconic with the... 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 Uh, Monaco and race thing. I'm gonna send Italy on this one. It looks like Italy. We have plates like Italy. And I think we have Italian. South or Sard Sardinia. Okay. Let's see if you're right. Let's see if you're right. Boom. Why do they shut it down? I mean, they, they shut down like parts of it because they go racing uh, in race cars around the city. Like, on the actual city streets. It's so cool. And I think it's a good idea to shut it down. Because imagine you're in an F1 race, right? In a race car. And you have to stop because of pedestrians. That would be a... Actually, I would love to see that. You know? That would be kind of cool. A race track, but you still have to obey the law. I am for it. I would love to see that. Like, you, you have someone... Up there in first place, but they have to stop because there's a pedestrian. Oh no! How long is that gonna take? Are they still gonna be able to do it? You never know. Okay, this looks... I don't know. Could this be one of the... By the way. Okay. <laughs> a million thoughts going on at once. I heard uh, that like a, a couple of days ago, they've... They've... Um, instituted a lot a lot of new Indian coverage, right? So you'll find a lot of technically it's unofficial coverage in India, uh, but it has been instituted now. 
I don't know if it's the case for country streaks yet, but definitely for the normal coverage. Now, I think I saw a little bit of language right there. <gasps> oh, space! Is that the tar? I think I found the tar in the wild. What is that? I like it. <laughs> My friend is back. Iwan, hi, dude. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. Does Albania have two blue, two blue-sided plates? Yes, it does. Uh, but the way that you can tell the difference, because both Italy and Albania has blue, blue sort of tags on each side of the plate, right? So the way that you you tell the difference is that you look at the front plate. On the Italian one, it'll be way shorter, whereas on the Albanian one, it's like normal size width. Um, and also in Albania, you'll find a red tag on the left-hand side. Which is also a pretty good indication. It looks Persian. Okay. How do you... I realize that I'm probably never going to be able to tell the difference. But how do you tell the difference? Is there like um, Is there like a... <gasps> an alien tar. It's got three eyes. Hmm. I found it. The aliens walk among us. Uh flag but it's red that doesn't really help me does it where am i from i i i normally hang out in the frozen wasteland also known as norway up there in the north it's a it's a cold and an unforgiving place but that's where i hang out for my for the most part uh where could this be then Why the hell am I up right now? You know, good question. I keep asking myself the same thing. Uh, weekend streams are normally a little bit earlier in the day. It's mainly to allow me uh, to have like a, a better dinner. I, I love doing like a Sunday dinner thing, even though I live by myself. Uh, we'll see. I'm in Norway. Yep. Yep. That's it. It's pretty early for you now, right now, isn't it? The flag is probably a city flag. But, I mean, if this is Persian, right? I, I trust those based on that call, definitely. But I am an idiot when it comes to localizing... Um, how, how am I going to ask this question, right? I know Persia was a thing. I'm pretty sure Persia is not a thing in the present. But what, w what would be the region? You know? You know, it's 2.45 a.m. right now after a bar Twitch stream. Ooh, nice. Awesome. Wait, bar or bad? Did you IRL stream from a bar? Because if that's the case, I love it. Oh, Iran. Do we have coverage in Iran, though? We shouldn't. Unless they've updated it. You know? You know? Oh, you're watching Twitch after you came home from the bar. Nice. Hell yeah. That's the way to do it. That is the way to do it. You would guess Pakistan or India? Ooh. Pakistan, I don't think you have coverage either. Unfortunately. Um, could be Afghanistan. Do we have coverage in Afghanistan though? I could see it. I definitely agree with you. But I've never encountered uh, either of these countries in in country streaks. What about India? The stupid question, right? But what about India? We do know that we have new coverage for India. But you wouldn't see Persian or anything like that in India, would you? Is that a flag? No, it isn't. Some parts there speak Farsi or Persian. Oh, India doesn't have squarish plates. Okay, so we're all over the place. We got to figure this one out. We can do this. This is not a big deal. Um, I love that we have so many inputs here, though. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a good one. Now, Pakistan has ultra rare coverage. <gasps> what? Are we going to see a location that I've never seen before then? Live on stream? For the first time ever. Uh-oh. 
Uh, the one thing that threw me off was the yellow plates over there. That That's definitely throwing me off, because that could be Israel. But the language doesn't fit. Like, at all. We also have an Asian squad, but I guess that's not only an Asian thing. But I love it. Ospace would say Iran or Afghanistan. I love it. I love it. The one thing that's kind of holding me back from just sending one of those is... <gasps> Wait. That's not a flag. The one thing that's holding me back from just sending that is the fact that, as far as I know, there shouldn't be coverage there for, uh, for country streaks. I'm very conflicted here. Why does this look different all of a sudden? Is this a typeface thing or is that just a... That looks like a different language altogether. There was the Pakistani symbol. What? What is this? Are we even in country streaks anymore? It'll be Pakistan? Wait. It's gonna be the first ever... I am very confused right now. <laughs> I love it though. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love it. But Ospace is the linguistic master here though, right? Pakistan coverage is only in Lahore. Okay, so at least we know there is coverage there. Where is that? Oh, it's there. Never seen that before. Never seen that before. I've never seen Pakistani coverage in uh, country streaks. I'm here for it though. And so are you. Hell yeah. You know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Here we go. Everyone chipped in on this one and I love it. Everyone was able to help. This is beautiful too, though. Prage, yeah. Prage this one. Let's see if we can do this. Damn it. The, the, the song is winding down. <laughs> It'll be so anticlimactic. Just let the new song come in so that we at least have something in the background when we send it. You think the Pakistani letters are Arabic, but the words are different. Oh, nice. Awesome. I would love to... Damn it. Oh, it's got some jump cuts in it. I would love to learn more Arabic, honestly. I don't know how difficult that would be for me to pick up with my background. You know? But I... I know a single letter. So I feel like that's a good way to start. You know? I'm well on my way. I and thank you so much for the uh, follow there. I really appreciate that. And I hope you're doing well in the morning. Okay, this one's gonna be interesting. This might be the first ever Pakistani one that we see. And even if it isn't, that's completely fine. I've learned a lot by doing this one, so it's completely fine. Here we go. Nice. This is my first ever Pakistani drop in Country Streaks. And you were here for it. Hell yeah. I love it. I love it. That is so cool. The Pakistan coverage is just in Lahore fortresses. That looked like it. That looked like a fortress. I would not be able to overtake that place at all. Awesome. So that was the, uh, wait. That was the shrine. Hasrat Per Saeed Waris Shah. I feel like I nailed that one. It was pretty good. I'm happy with it. <laughs> all right. It was Pakistan. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And we all learned something today, right? We do have country street coverage in Pakistan, but only for the fortresses. What a time to be alive, yeah? There you go. What do you guys think? Do you want to switch it on over to uh, uh, Chatgasser, or do we keep going with the country streaks for now? Completely up to you guys. You are the, uh, you're the boss. You know, you are the boss. You get to decide. I'm just here for the ride, you know? 
One of the Smurfs coming in with a follow. Which one, though? I'd be curious. Hopefully. Is it Smurfette? You know? <laughs> hey, dude. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. One of them. Duh. <laughs> there you go. All right. And me wants to do some more streaks. You know we can keep going with streaks? Hell yeah. Faber as well with the streaks. At some point, we're going to go ahead and uh, let's break the personal record. You know, that one is still active, though. Do you want to switch it on over to a bigger streak, then? I feel like we could do that. We have a bigger streak going. We have a 200. You know? Do we build a little bit of the smaller ones, or do we... <gasps> I have an idea. We have a lot of new people in here now. Can we see if we can solve this one? It's the biggest mystery, and it's been plaguing me since May. It's a location that I have not been able to... F no, it's... Oh, it's this one. Yeah, this is also a location. We have a couple of them where we're just completely stuck. Uh, but this was not the one that I was thinking of. We have one where we're stuck in the middle of a jungle. Uh, you can move like 20 meters and that's it. You know? This one isn't hard though. I think this one we just stopped at a certain, a certain point. But in this one, we do have a little bit of uh, language. And I have a feeling it's going to be Lithuanian or Latvian because of the line above the E. I'm leaning a little bit Lithuania? Right off the bat, you're guessing Canada or a Nordic country? Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I would include Baltic in that one, like these countries over here. Uh, because you will see a lot of bleed over. It's a Slavic language, okay. Um... Spyros is thinking Lithuania. I, I'm inclined to agree with you. Let's see if we can find something, though. Let's see if I just uh, update my title because I love having the 100 plus in there whenever we do take the chance. Actually, 150 plus. Why not? Why not? Early stream. Hell yeah. Hey, Raffer, how are you? The, uh, the weekend streams are definitely a lot earlier. It's, uh... Yeah, sometimes a little bit too early, I won't lie. You can guarantee that it's not Poland or Czechia. Okay, cool. Yeah, the Nordic countries are pretty green, you're right. I mean, some of the coverage, though, for the Nordic countries... Um, are winter coverage. So you'll find, like, a bit of snow and... You know, some of the less... The less green areas as well depending on the area the e with the line on it is only in latvia i thought that was the u and the a i don't know if it it still applies for the the e but it might be we have a bus stop up here so i'll double check that i have bus meta if this one has if the bus in this one has five windows on it it's latvia one two three four five it is latvia Nice! You woke up 20 minutes ago, so you wouldn't say too early? Yeah, I get that. I I woke up like, what? Three hours ago, it's not too bad. But I still struggle to wake up in the morning, so, you know. That's a me thing. Here we go! Boom. The IGA suffix. With the line on the E. Hell yeah. Nice! We're up to 153 now. Speaking of Nordic, though, I think this is going to be Norway, but I'm going to double check it. Because I don't 100% trust the line meta. I don't 100% trust it. I have had it fail out on me a couple of times. But this is going to be Norway. This looks Norwegian to me. I had some roads like this. Really not too far away from where I live. Imagine if I turned the uh, the corner over here and you just see me sitting there. On my laptop. Just working. I'd love that. <laughs> Actually, I'd hate that. The long white lines and the vegetation, yeah. Also, the, uh, the flag, I guess. But, you know. And a lot of stuff, actually. The architecture... You know, I, I I was riding my bicycle, riding my motorcycle seven hours, seven or eight hours yesterday, right? 
You know what I kept looking for? Bollards. I really wanted to take a picture next to a bollard and uh, share it with you guys. I couldn't find any. I couldn't find a single bollard in like seven hours of driving. Weird. So weird. This is no way. It's gotta be. Here we go. Welcome to Norway! There we go. There we go. Awesome. It's a national park. We're up to 154. Okay, we have a roof rack. And we can see the mirrors. What else? Hello, Norway! Hello, Gothrush! How are you? How are you, my friend? Good morning, good morning. Actually, maybe good afternoon? No, four more minutes until the afternoon. Good morning, how are you? Yellow plates as well. We have a better language. Huh. I saw a flag. <gasps> it's a Cambodian flag! No, is it? Or is it the Laotian one with the circle? The circle is gonna be Laotian, isn't it? Yes, it is. Nice. Uh, Kenya does have things on the cars, like um, Kenya has a snorkel up front, like a big uh, air intake, air exhaust, probably both, uh, or a mirror on the front left side. Low, low with the circle, hell yeah, there we go. Let's send it. Nailed it. We're up to 155. Uh-oh. Luang Prabang. I don't know where that is. But I'm gonna trust you on that. I mean, this says Valencia. So this is gonna be Spain, isn't it? Unless there's like several of those. But I don't think that's the case. I'm just gonna double check the plates real quick. Okay, I plates are gone. But this one is gonna have the uh like the highway number on it. And you find them all over Spain. There you go. It is Spain! There we go. Right outside of Valencia. Nice! Oh the yellow guardrail too! You're right! I never even noticed that. But well done. Well spotted. We get to learn so many things. I love it. If it weren't for the fact that I know better, I would have said Germany. But this is Lithuania. <gasps> Wait, a red house number. This is Slovenia. Right? If I could find one more, because that one had both a blue one and a red one. If I could find one more red house number, I'm gonna send Slovenia so hard. Damn it, this one still has the double. But we have these ones. These are the crests of the uh, Balkan countries, right? Oh, Czechia. Okay, well that also makes sense. That also definitely makes sense. Hey, Impasta, how are you, dude? Welcome, welcome. Good morning as well. Uh, okay, all of you are calling out for Czechia, so we're gonna go ahead and send Czechia. That's how much I trust you, right? You better know that. Better. I mean, okay, so that there's a, an actual Czech domain there as well. But I trusted you before I saw that, so, you know. Boom! I still hold that the red license or the red house number thing is definitely a good indication for Slovenia. If you can find it without the blue one at the same time that we did uh, just now, I would have sent it without question. Ah, okay. Are we back in the Balkans or is this going to end up being like uh, Spain again? Let's have a look at the license plates here. No yellow tag on the right, so we know we're not in Portugal, at least. San Miguel, that is 
That is Spain, isn't it? Are we gonna count this for the beer matter? I think we kinda had it before we saw the uh the ad though, but And I'm not a hundred percent sure. Bohemia Morav Moravia Silen Silesia on that symbol. Oh nice. I get to learn so many things. I love it. I guess those are the eagle things and all of that, right? I'm not 100% sure still. But this is an absolutely gorgeous area. Look at this. There's a cafe as well. Imagine sitting out here having your coffee in the morning. Overlooking. I mean, I fell off of the thing now, but... Still overlooking this area. So beautiful. So beautiful. I'm just gonna send uh, Spain, I guess, on this one. I feel like it's good enough. I mean, we've seen one beer ad and the lack of a, a yellow tag, and that's about it. But it still kind of feels like it's enough. Right? We're at 150, though. I'm not gonna rush it until one of you guys agrees with me. Because I'm not that good. Wait, there was a... This one's gonna help. The Calle. Definitely Spain. Here we go. Ivan thinks it's near Bilbao? Okay. I don't know where that is, do I? Ah... Uh, this is south. Not seeing it. Where's Bilbao at? Bilbo, where are you? Where are you? Oh, north. Okay. Well. I still the Oh, there it is. Let's see if you're right, Ivan. Let's see if you're right. Here we go. I mean, definitely north, though. Good call. Definitely good call. And you could walk this in like a day. Easy. There we go. 158. Can we make it to 160? As we get dropped into this. Definitely looks Nordic to me. I'm gonna say probably Finland. We have a yellow background on this. The unbroken line on the outside. And a bunch of birch. You know. Let's find a street name. <laughs> uh, yeah. Look at that. Wait a minute. It looks so similar to the Norwegian one, though. But, okay, there we go. The yellow and white dividing line, uh, along with the yellow background on the signs, sets it apart from Norway. Here we go. Yeah. 159. We are flying now. This is just straight up uh, Mongolia, isn't it? Or is it? I could be wrong, but the, the car should fit. Oh, Kyrgyzstan. Oh, yeah. The um, the Mongolian one has the colors, and the Kyrgyzstan one doesn't, right? That's how I tell them apart. I have been mixing those up a lot recently, so... Dot .kg. It checks out. There we go. Kyrgyzstan. Tax with the lurker tax. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for lurking. I appreciate that. I still, I'm still gonna hope that you have a beautiful Sunday, though. Definitely. Yo, check, my friend. How are you? Good after? Nope. Yeah, good afternoon. It's after midday, so how are you, dude? Uh, let's see. We're doing a little bit of country streaks for now because people wanted the country streak. Uh, but we can switch it on over at any point. Remember that. Let me know. Raptor with the hydrate. Thank you, dude. I'm gonna do that right away. Next check coming in as well. Good morning or afternoon, depending on where you're from. Uh, this one is for Raptor. Guys, join me for a drink, all right? Just a sip of water. It's so good for you. It's Sunday. I don't know what you were up to yesterday. You were probably out drinking, partying. You know, I know you guys. Right? Wild. Probably geography based parties all night. I don't know, but you should rehydrate now. All right This one is for you Raptor. There we go There it 
There you go. Just got home, spent yesterday taking care of your niece and nephew. That sounds so nice, though. That sounds so nice. What did you guys get up to? Oh, it's evening next week. All right, cool. You're a little bit ahead of me, then. Awesome. I hope it's a good one. Unless it's... Is it Saturday evening? No, that's physically impossible. Awesome. Hell yeah, Goth Rush. Nice. Nice. You should hydrate. It's, it's so good for you. And we're up to 160, guys. We're up to 160. You're drinking apple juice? Oh, nice. I haven't had apple juice in such a long time. Just when you said that, though, I can kind of taste it. I miss apple juice. Actually, I miss orange juice even more than that. Is there anything better than a glass of orange juice and a black coffee in the morning? I don't think so. That's got to be the best thing ever. Okay, we have some skinny holy polies, which immediately make me think of Hungary. But we'll see. You went to a trampoline land. Nah, I tried to get her energy drained. Did it work or did you end up tired at the end? Because I feel like that's the way it goes, right? It's the same thing with uh, with uh, puppies and stuff. <gasps> this is Poland? Wait! Boo Boo coming in saying, I would argue Poland? I think you're right. You know the W meta for Poland? Poland just harvesting those Ws. Well done. Sponsored by Lipton. Here we go. A bunch of you guys calling out for Poland. Well done. That feels like, um, that feels like some intuition right there. Oh, the poles don't have holes at the bottom. I think that kind of varies a little bit because I think Poland is one of those countries where you'll find, um, you'll find a lot of different, both bollards, I feel like, and also power poles. We also have the horizontal unbroken line on this. Definitely a Polish matter. There we go. Are you instantly new, boo? Nice. Did anything interesting happen in the weekend? Not really. Uh, I mean, I did have an awesome day yesterday. I woke up early uh, and then I went out and rode motorcycles for seven or eight hours. Probably like seven total, but I had some breaks in between. Uh, there was sun, it was nice, and then I capped off the day with a family barbecue. So I had such a good time yesterday. It was good. Poland is like a straight, is it? I mean, I guess I could see that. Okay, so I immediately saw the blue tags, but what is this? I feel like I've forgotten something here. It is a beautiful city though, wherever we are. It says Tennessee right there, so you know, we also have this. This is definitely the Tennessee domain. So we're gonna send the US on this one. Uh, I mean, where else would you find, like, a burger bar Tennessee, right? It's gotta be the U.S. Here we go! <laughs> it's Czechia, isn't it? It's Czechia, isn't it? <laughs> How many of you thought I would send that one there? Huh? How many of you? At least one. Tell me at least one of you fell for it. Sponsored by Jack Daniels. You know, I was I was able to find like a Jack Daniels barbecue glaze last year. It was so delicious, and I haven't been able to find it this year. You did fall for it, hell yeah! Nice, <laughs> nice. Gotcha. There we go. Sending. Check ya. Boom. That's how it's done. And we end up in, I was gonna say South America, but I think this could also be Mexico. It's a Gen 4 coverage. We have the sun to our north. Wait, that means that we're in the Southern Hemisphere. Something doesn't check out. I think this is gonna be Australia. We're driving on the left-hand side of the... Yeah, it's Australia, isn't it? Wait. These signposts are, are painted white. The one back there wasn't. But these ones are painted white, and that should indicate New Zealand. 
Yeah, it is New Zealand, doesn't it? Hey, JV coming in as well, dude. Hey, how are you? Good morning and or afternoon. Hope you're doing well. Dot NZ. There we go. It is New Zealand. And if I were to guess, right? If I were to guess, I would say North Island. Pretty close to Auckland, probably. Sending it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's basically inside Auckland. Nice. Looks like a fun stream. Yeah, you know, we're hanging out, playing together, trying to figure this out. And in a, you know, I don't know when, but eventually we'll transfer it on over to uh, Chatgaster and we can play together as well. Which I, I really like that. And I love doing both like this because I know some people absolutely love country streaks and then others, you know, love the uh, the chat guesser as well. And I want to please everybody. I always want to please everybody, you know? Hungary. Yeah, I could see that. What are these though? I've never seen that before. What is the main indication of Hungary for Hungry, Jesus Christ. Hungry for this one. What is the main one? I keep mixing up the, uh, like, hung Hungary and Bulgaria. So it becomes, like, Bulgari and Hungaria. It's a problem. The road names and the holy ponies. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Especially the skinnier holy ponies like this. Romania also has holy ponies, but they're thicker. They're thick, you know? Let's do it. You came out and went UK and then... Oh, it's too too posh for the UK. Well, I don't know about that one. I mean, I feel like you could see this kind of a landscape in both, right? <laughs> Scarlet, though, how are you, my friend? Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Did you hear that? My tummy just rumbled loudly. Hopefully that didn't pick up. That is why we have noise gates. All right. I'm going to sun hungry on this one, though. This one goes out to all the hungry people out there. You know, probably a few of you on this beautiful Sunday morning slash afternoon. Oh, we have, we have a website right there as well. There we go. I think we could reach 170 on this one. <laughs> you didn't hear it? Well... Now you know. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. This is Romania. We have a domain. And the, th the aforementioned thicker holy polies right here. Look at that thick boy. Look at that thick boy. Romania. Another country that I'd really love to visit. go yeah nice <laughs> how am i so good at streaks i'm not i play with you guys and you guys are really good at streaks that's my secret huh that is my secret now okay spanish um not even a square pole not even a square pole. Why does this feel like it could be... I was gonna say Peru or Bolivia, because it looks like we are at a little bit of an elevation, but... An octagonal power pole. And a six-wheeled camper? I'm for it. Uh, Gen 4 coverage as well, though, should indicate... Uh, at least that that's the way it used to be. Gen 4 makes it a lot more likely that it's Mexico. These are beautiful. Never thought I'd say that. I never thought I'd say that, that about a power pole. What have you done to me, chat? What have you done to me? I keep admiring, like, bollards and power poles and... Damn it. Oh, no need to dole? I, I will dole. I love the word dole, so I'll do a little bit of that. 
There we go. All right. We're going to send this one. Boom. Boom! It has the region written on the pole. Well, I took a little bit of a uh, chance on that one. Welcome to the uh, Baltics, though. I'm already leaning Estonia, I think, on this one. It could just as easily be... Yeah, it's Latvia. You see how this one has five windows again? One, two, three, four, five. Easy. Easy, Latvia. There we go. The uh, Estonian one and the Lithuanian one would have had four windows. There we go. We're approaching 170. This is Ireland. Republic of. The way that I knew was that this... I mean, it looks a little bit like Ireland. But we also have the yellow diamond-shaped sign. It's your favorite song, Boo Boo? If you mean that... Um, I'll leave it on. If you don't like it, I will skip it. You know, just let me know. I want you guys to be happy here. So, uh, where am I? There we go. <laughs> Republic of Ireland. The yellow stickers on the electricity poles as well. Hell yeah, nice. I'm just a filthy meta nerd. You know, Leg Up would say that. Leg Up would say that. Why do you guys hate meta? I love it. I get to recognize things. See, this is the tricky one, right? A lot of people would have gone Finland with this one because of the unbroken outer line. But this is Norway. You know? Pretty sure. Oh, you didn't say it's a bad thing? You know, I feel like it's kind of, you know, implied though. <laughs> You're a filthy meta nerd, but I mean it in a nice way. You know? <laughs> See, my dude, how are you? Good morning. Actually, good afternoon. I'm gonna keep mixing that up all day, you know? Place your bets as to whenever I'm gonna wish someone a good evening. Because that's just as easy. It's just as likely to happen at some point. The lake is just too good. I bet you it's cold. And the one thing that a lot of people don't even think about... Look at the, uh... Look at the fields over there. This is gonna be so full of, uh fertilizer you know it runs downwards and it ends up in the water it's full of poop you know send it already you did you want to look at this listen here you listen here uh all right let's go with this i feel like this is gonna be down here somewhere like west coastish probably here we go well god damn it Every time I'm wrong. Every single time. That was a nice area, though. That's a nice area right there. 169. And our 170th is gonna be... Still not sure. We're not in Europe, it looks like. Where are the blue tags? You know? But we have Cyrillic. We have an antenna. And what else? It's always lovely to try and guess which part of Norway we're in. It's the same with the fjords and mountains in the water. Yeah, sometimes I get it right. Is that a kitty cat? It could be. It's gone. Where'd the kitty cat go? It's Ukraine? It could definitely be Ukraine. <gasps> it is! Look at that! The blue and yellow tag! Hell yeah! I love this car too. Nice! I didn't even see the red car. I didn't even see the red car. Do I still have the thing? I don't. I used to have like a red car thing. Like, down here next to me. Uh, I don't know where I put it. I guess I moved the assets and now it's gone. Ukraine, though, this one goes out to all of Ukraine. You think Odessa? Okay, let's see if you're right. How? How do you do that? That is so impressive. Well done. Hell yeah. 170 rounded out by the beautiful Ukraine. Nice. 
bang on the money. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Well done. That's a square pole. With uh, holes going up all the way up to the very top. I think this is going to be the Philippines. We also have concrete uh, road surfacing. You know? I'm definitely feeling Philippines on this one. Spyros is saying Thai, though. Ooh, we're going to have to double check. Language. That looks Thai to me. I think you might be right. Oh, we're driving on the left. Oh, well. You know what? That's kind of, I feel like you guys have an unfair advantage because you guys get to use your brains while you play. And that's unfair. That's not cool. <laughs> Thailand it is, though. There we go. Good call. Great call. You saved the streak right there. I was gonna send the Philippines. But here we go. Uh, Vietnamese, it could have been. But a lot of the coverage in Vietnam, right? Is, um... A lot of the coverage in Vietnam is done by what's called bike coverage. So it's just a dude on a motorcycle or a scooter with a camera on top of his helmet. And I'm not seeing that one here. So we're definitely going to send Vietnam on this one. The, the language fits. So we're going to send it. Okay, Thailand, here we go. Number 171. Starting us on the road to 180. Let's go ahead and send it. Oh. Close one there. There we go. <laughs> Thailand it is. Welcome to Spain. Or Italy. You see the blue tag right there? This is Italy. <laughs> but the thicker outer lines on this make me think of Spain. So I'm gonna double check this one just to make sure. Alright, there's a lot of double blue plates. I just want to make sure they're not tourists because this definitely looks like a touristy area. For sure it does. Yeah, but there's too many of them. See a shorter uh, double blue tag plate? This is not San Marino. Is that reverse psychology? Because I will send San Marino. Come here with your reverse psychology magic. Like that. <laughs> You're playing a dangerous game. Alright. Coastal Italy. Probably Sicily. Alright, let's see if you're right. Let us see if you're right. I like the thicker outer line on this now. There we go. It's not San Marino or the Vatican because there is C. C again with the double or the, you know, reverse psychology. I'm going to send the Vatican just, just because I can. Nah, this is just straight up Italy, isn't it? There we go. And you are so right. You are so right. Well done. 172. We're flying now. We're flying now. What else? What else? This feels like Central Europe to me. It's gonna be Czechia, Slovakia, maybe. <gasps> Kitty! Just out for a stroll. Nope. Uh, it's... Austria. It's Austria, isn't it? Belgium. Oh, the red tint on the plates right there. Oh, it's Belgium. Oh, they nearly got me again. I don't see it, though. Do I? No, it is Austria. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Austria also has the red tint. Oh, yeah, they do. I, I always forget that. People always tell me, and then I immediately forget it. But the blue street names, white border, and the number dot indicating the, uh, the Vienna district. There we go. Welcome to Vienna. Another place that I would absolutely love to visit at some point. Have any of you ever been to Vienna? Is it really as beautiful as it looks? There we go. <gasps> There's an Ikea? I would love to visit the Vienna Ikea. Right? 
173, here we go. Alright, alright. I would say, with this sort of signpost thing, I would have said Uruguay. But I know I've been mixing those two up a lot. Mr. Toxic Dude, hey, good afternoon, how are ya? No, Michon lives in Vienna, nice. Would you recommend it though? Like, as a visitor's uh, thing. This looks like ocean. With these circles at the end of each, uh, of each letter? Dimitrov, hey, my friend, how are you? Oh, it's Thailand again. Why do I keep mixing up the, uh, the language there? Isn't that a thing in Laotian script? It is Thailand, 100%. I, you know I gotta trust that. You know I gotta trust that. The, oh yeah, also the signs on the left to indicate that we're driving on the left. You know, using your brain again, well done. Ooh, way up north, way up north. It's definitely beautiful, nice. I, I'm gonna look into a, an Austrian trip. I feel like I've passed through Austria, but I've never actually been to Vienna, I think. I mean, we did stop into a lot of different places in that trip, so it might have happened, but I've forgotten. But I don't think so. Two day, for a two-day trip, definitely. Awesome. I love cities where I could cover most of it in two days. Two or three days, maybe. Because I like to, uh, I like to take my time. I'm the kind of person, like, I, I will appreciate a, um, I will appreciate a city trip as well. Like, I, I love, obviously, I love going into the nature trips and all of that as well. But if I do visit a city, I'm the kind of person to take, like, six hours in a cafe, sit there and watch the people have coffee. Um, but also, obviously, go and see sites, museums, that kind of thing. I like it. Where is this? I don't know where this is. I have nothing to go on. Kind of feels like it could be South Africa, though. Right? It's a Gen 3 camera. So technically it could be either of the uh, South African countries. But I could be way off even on that. This could be like South America. It could be... Uh, I feel like my brain has decided that we are definitely southern, though. The sun, the position of the sun definitely helps uh, solidify that thought. Oh, this is Eswatini. Do you guess the wrong place? Hey, good morning, my friend. Uh, Amir doesn't think it's Eswatini, but South African Australia. I, I love it, you know? Huh, what else? If we can get out onto a main road, I'd be able to figure this out. But we're stuck in suburbia for now. A little bit of language right there. It's itchy. Itchy mustache in the morning. You ever get that? Milbrand coming in as well. Good morning, my friend. Thinking it is a sw Eswatini. What is the... Uh What's the play on this one, though? I feel like I haven't seen anything yet. I have the vibe of Southern Africa in general, but... You know? If it is Espatini, it's Mba... Mbabane. Babane. Babane? Did I nail it? Maybe? South Africa and the countries inside had three yellow lights on the road. Yeah, normally they would, but at least on the highways. Not everywhere, though. But on the highways, definitely. It's such a cool look, too. Zimbabwe or Namibia, I don't think, are included in the country streaks rotation, at least. They, they would be in normal normal street view, but not in, uh, not in country streaks. So these two are out. Botswana, South Africa, Lesotho, and Eswatini are in, though. So it could be either of those. The hilliness is typical. All right. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and send Espatini. What if it's South Africa, though? 
You know? <laughs> no, I don't want milk. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. I like your name. I like your name. Why do you want milk, though? Uh, no. Actually, I get that. I've cut out milk completely. I can't even remember the last time I had milk. You know? <laughs> and then the streak goes down to zero. I hate that. You know, I hate that. The idea of that? I need tall grass. Does this count as tall grass? I feel like this should count as tall grass, you know? A hundred percent, Aspatina. You'd bet your life on it. Okay, you know how I work. If someone comes in that certain, you know it's got to be done. Mr. Toxic. Hey, dude. Thank you for the follow. I hope you don't live up to your name. But welcome either way. Uh, let's see. What else? Nah, we're going to send it. We got to send a hundred percent. Raptor with a hundred percent Russia, though. But you are a little bit late. GeoGuessr Longplay is coming in as well. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. I really do. You know? There's a sign. Let's see if we could read that one. Just I, I don't know why I'm nervous. We have English, and I think that fits for Aspatini. I think it does. It's just a nickname. Nice. Okay, cool. I mean, how did you get the nickname, though? That's the question, right? <laughs> You don't just come up with a... I'm going to call you uh, uh, Mr. Toxic Hate. You know? you got to earn a nickname. I earned my nickname. <laughs> you know? Let's send Espatini. This one goes out to all the people from Espatini. Of which I don't know what the plural possessive... Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. But here we go. Boom. Espatinians? See, that's... I think that's not it. I think there is a different one either for Espatini or Lesotho. They have, like, a completely different name for them. But there we go. Teabagging in Warzone. That's where you got your nickname. You know, that's fair. That is fair. If I could teabag in GeoGuessr, I would. I definitely would. Uh, this is gonna be... I would have said, like, uh, Argentina, but the white car should exclude that. That kind of leaves me with, with Chile, but the yellow line excludes that. This one, though, confirms Peru to me. Do you agree? The Tuk Tuk thing? It's a Peruvian meta. There we go, Spyros and Czech both agreeing with me. Hell yeah, here we go. Boom. That one feels risky, but it isn't. But it isn't. Now. Dot B. Finally, Belgium, Belgium comes out with an easy one. Right? They normally try to sneak up on me and try to debate me and try to trick me. But they finally gave me an easy one. Welcome to Belgium. I would also love to go to Belgium. You know, Belgium and me... We have a little bit of a tricky, tricky relationship. It's a little bit off and a little bit on. Because I love them, but they keep trying to trick me when it comes to counter streaks. And I don't know why. I don't know why I've done what I've done to deserve that. The 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 Belgian red tint there as well. Oh that sign was Dutch. Tahur is for rent. Nice! There we go. It was indeed Belgium. And we're up to 177. Can we make 180, though? That is the big question. That is the big question. Milbrand wasn't playing on the toilet yesterday, it sounds like. Uh, what is this, though? We have a website, but it's a .com domain. The language, though. The language. I have a slight feeling on this one. Could it be Poland, actually? I want to have a look at this one. See if we could find a single W. We didn't, but we found this. And I feel like that's going to be a pretty good Serbian indication. Normally, I would double check that. But since we don't have, like, a country code in front of it. 
you know it's good enough we're up here or close to it anyway there we go for sure there we go big rat equals belgrade you're right you are right my friend there we are 178 now okay okay so we talked about this before right slovenia it's gonna be my guess Is that a moo cow beer meta? No, it isn't. That's something different. You know, if I could find like one more of those red. Check as your guess. True, there are slight differences. I think you might be right. I just miss. I just miss Slovenia, man. I miss Slovenia. Yeah, Czechia does have the red house number thing as well. You're right. And the language, I guess, fits. Oh, the street name signs are red in Czechia, but not in Slovenia. Gotcha. There you are. There you are. Okay. So Czechia it is. I mean, I'm not angry about it. I still love Czechia. I just miss Slovenia. It feels like... Ever since Pico went on holiday, we never get Slovenia anymore. There we go. Yeah, there we are. 179. And the dot CZ confirms it. Fairly well, I'd say. Pretty good. Can we cheat? We don't even need to cheat. It's Italy. Short double blue tags. Or short plates with double blue tags in the front. We can even see the eye on the other one. Um, anything else? I don't think so. I don't think we need anything else. What's my goal? 200? Yeah. I think, well, if we can reach 200, you know? If we could pull this off. Okay, this is straight up Italy. Boom. We love that arm blur, blur plate. We do. 180. I spy with my little eye. An eye. <laughs> Damn it. It works. It works. Now. Is this bike coverage? It kind of feels like it is. But I... Mm, no. It isn't. Or is it? Or is it? This looks like a pretty narrow road. We could easily pass by the scooters. <gasps> we have a blur on the front of this. Could this actually end up being Indonesia? Could it actually end up... Wait a minute. This is going to be helpful. It says Indonesia right there. Nice. I lost Indonesia. There we go. There we go. It's Bali or Sulawesi. I don't know where Sulawesi is, but I know Bali. You know, all the time I don't mix it up with Brunei, which has happened more than once. You know, Melbrand thinks it's Java. It's okay, let's see. If, let's see who's right. We're all over the place, but it's all Indonesia. There we go. Boom! There you are, Java. Well done. By the way, Swaggy. Good morning, Swaggy. How are you? Good morning. <laughs> it was a duck. There is a duck. Milbrand, the duck. Um, I ooh, I've forgotten this one. I know it is a meta. It is a meta, but I've forgotten about it. It's not. Wait, it couldn't possibly be Uganda, right? Oh, the capital of Uganda. Well, that definitely helps. Fear no stain. How did I forget this? How did I forget this meta? It happens, right? Just goes to show that, you know, even though you think that I'm just like the perfect GeoGuessr player, right? I know you think that. I know that, but I'm not. Speaking of F1, though, what the hell is this coverage? Okay, the Google driver had some fun. 
I think this is the most jealous I've ever been of the Google Street View driver. What is this one though? We can figure this out. Can this be the Nuremberg ring? Maybe. This is not Uganda? Well. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what is this gonna be? I have no idea. Oh no. Racing fans, help me out! You probably recognize this track, right? Help! Help! This movement? Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? I was gonna ask a stupid question. Does this translate into Vienna? It feels like it should. Did I lose the streak? No, it's still there. It's still there. We can discard Monaco, yeah. I've been to Monaco. I think I would have recognized it. Maybe. But this is definitely a racetrack. Yeah, but they don't speak French there. You're right. Ooh, good point. I don't know why, but I'm still less stressed about this one than I would be of any other sort of atypical coverage. I have a there's gotta be like a flag or a, an advertisement or something. Again with the Vienna. It did say Vienna, but it said Vienna in French. That's the problem. Are we just going around in circles now? Well, that is racing, isn't it? <laughs> Not even circles. It's all French. So I feel like we're stuck with France, Switzerland. Should be it. Just keep going. Haven't we? Oh, no, we haven't. <laughs> this is going to be a big help, maybe. How do you not fly a flag, though? The Vienna Circle. But it's in French, and I don't like that. Anyone recognize this? Boot up your forces, people. Boot it up and try to find this shape. Right? That, that's not cheating, is it? It's not Googling. So, ooh, pit stop. Are there circuits in the French part of Switzerland? I have no idea. No idea at all. There's us, though. Everybody wave. <laughs> Hello! Wave and smile. It's a French track. All right. Can we actually get out of here? Maybe. We do have the name of it anyway. One of the Swiss languages is French, true. True. Okay, Encom is in there as well. Nice. This is not Spain. I think you're right. I think you're right. But which one? I'm gonna head up to this. There's gotta be a website or something. The Paddock Cafe. Just throw another language into the mix while you're at it. Great. Perfect, I love that. That helps. They're usually isolated. Let's see if I can, you know, I could still try to uh, sneak out of this. If we could reach the parking lot, we might be able to. Website, please give me a website. I would be so happy. Switzerland has low cam, yeah, but we're on a low, uh, on a uh, racetrack, right? So it could have been just an isolated, isolated situation. I don't recognize that. I mean, I don't follow uh, racing, so I don't, you know. I have a valid excuse not to recognize it. I think, right? Maybe. Just like a single, 
A single website would help. Thank you, Aspen, for the uh, hydrate and the posture check. I'll sit up first. It's a little bit of a stretch. Ooh. Ooh. There was a little bit of a yawn in there as well. Thank you. And the loose glasses. What is going on? All right, well. I'm going to go ahead and do the hydrate. Guys, if you haven't yet, have a sip of water with me. Even if you have. Even if you did previously, that's still like what? How long ago was the last one? 40 minutes ago. So it's about time that we have another hydrate, hydration run, right? This one is for you, Espen. I'm gonna mute myself anymore. There we go. We're well on our way. All right, I need to read what you guys are saying now. You saw a couple of Renaults. Uh, yeah, true. Gotta be France, maybe. We're off the track, true. We are. Now we are. Wait, does that mean the, the random Google driver just took a detour? I love that. That is the coolest thing. We might actually still be on the ground, though. Uh, no, we're not. Okay, it is France, isn't it? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. 100%, right? 90%. It's like still 50-50, right? So a yellow D road front a hundred percent. I love me a yellow D road. Alright. It looks flat and French. Yeah, true. <laughs> You're right, actually. And we have a French bollard right there. Thick, white, and red. No. This one is. There we go. Boom! Just zooming in for you guys. I'm guessing some of you are curious about this one. You'll find it right here. Look at that! Awesome. Awesome. Alright. Zooming out just for added effect. 183! That could have been a street killer right there. It could have been. But we're alright. I see a red tint on this one. And a dot BE. Speaking of Belgium. That is a dot BE, right? That's not a dot SE. I want to double check, but I can't get any closer. That's a dot BE. It's gotta be. Is it Ghent? Is it Ghent? Let's find out. It wasn't. It was right outside of Brussels. Nice. Advanced move, you're right. Oh, that was slightly risky, actually. That was actually slightly risky. That's a good point, though. We should have double-checked on that one. My bad, my bad. But we did survive. Whew. All right, we have a lot of stuff going on here. Not gonna call it yet. But... I have the weirdest feeling about this one. Steel Junction. In English too though. Keep that in mind. This feels like Southern Africa. Look at the vegetation, right? And that's a yellow plate. This is Botswana. Wait, is that all? Do they only have yellow back plates? Yes, they do. Is there a dot TS? On the truck, do you mean? Or on the... Uh... Maybe. I don't see it. I didn't see it. That's the issue with playing without glasses. I mean, not that I would have seen it anyway, I guess, but... South Africa does not accept in very rare cases on vintage cars, yeah. And that was not a vintage car right there. And we have two of them with yellow backplates. So I'm leaning Botswana. Uh, I want to get out of here, though. Just double check it on a main road, because... Oh, we can't even get in there. Can I even get out of here? Probably not. Normally, I would have expected less sort of clearing 
uh, to the brush. But I guess that mainly holds for uh, main roads and stuff like that, right? What is saving.ts? It's going to be... I want to say Tanzania or something. But there is no coverage in Tanzania. Uh, so if if that was a .ts, it would be on a truck probably. .za. That should be South Africa. But speaking of moving trucks though, look at all these yellow backplates right here. I know we have a uh, domain name over there. But I'd be willing to put some money on this being Botswana. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but, you know. If I were to guess, I would say Botswana 100%. I feel like the, the amount of English as well is going to be a good indication. What do you guys think? How much money would I be willing to not bet on it? Like a million dollars. You know? A million. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> What's that spot one right there? There we go. That's good enough. I'm sending it. Boom. Pretty close that. FNB sign is first national bank. But they're also all over. Okay, well. It worked out! 185! Nice. This looks, uh... I was about to say Baltic? But it's Danish. Alright. It's good enough for me. There we go. Once the camera quality shifted, I could tell. Um... What about this? Spain! We have the Calle. Downtown Greenland. Oh yeah. There you go. You like how it highlights Greenland? Right? I mean, I'm not gonna dispute it. I don't wanna mess with the Danish military. Right? I mean, I guess I could just climb up on a mountain and hide from them. Because they're not used to mountains over there, you know? Be an easy way. <laughs> Makes you look huge, true. It's a good trick. Ah, but this is just Spain, though, isn't it? This is just Spain, though, isn't it? It's a beautiful place, yeah. God, I miss traveling so much. Imagine just walking along this road. You could take in the smells, feel the sun, everything. That's what I've been looking for. Just the simple plates with a with a simple blue tag on the left. Just double checking. The extra thick red borders as well. You're right. Here we go. There we are. Madrid. All right. Vienna or or what no but it is though look at that again the white border um, and the number in the front there as well it's Vienna in it it is it is though it is though it is though there we are not the typical uh, Vienna look that I'm used to, but still. Still. Boom. East of the river. Are you kidding me? Are you able to tell the difference now? Do you know all the different districts in Vienna? I love that. Check with the lurker tax. That kind of worries me a little bit because you're probably going to get the military now, right? I'm sorry, Denmark. I'm sorry. It was a joke, all right? Turn out. Thank you for looking at my friend. I appreciate you. Uh, this is going to be Baltic. This is going to be Baltic. I'm leaning Lithuania or Latvia. Oh, you roughly know. That is awesome. That is awesome. 
188. Can we make it 200, though? That's the big question. We're gonna look at these. If these are wooden, it's more than likely Latvia. It's actually kind of hard to tell, and I don't recognize this. Latvia normally has like a cloth hanger. Cloth hanger. Cl clothes hanger thing at the top. This barn, though, throws me off a lot. That makes me think more like North America. I don't know. Kiriki, my friend, how are you? Good morning. Or good afternoon. Yeah, it's 1. It's 1 p.m. Good afternoon. You're not convinced? I, uh, yeah, same, actually. At this point, same. This kind of feels like Canada to me now. Especially with that burn and the way that this road has suddenly gotten a lot worse. Uh, but we'll see. That barn screams movie set in the Midwestern US, right? I love them, though. They're so iconic looking. This movement? I'm sorry. What am I doing wrong? Oh, Google. Okay, I thought that was me. I, I, I'm trying hard as well not to do the whole, like, jumping around like this uh, and zooming in and out a lot. I know people hate that. It's kind of ingrained in me, though. The sun is slightly to our south, so we would be slightly to the north of the equator. Midwest is kind of looking good. Midwest is kind of looking all right. Yo, no, Jay. Welcome back, my friend. How are you? How have you been? What have you been up to? It's going exactly north-south. Yeah. Is that an indication of somewhere? I don't know. You know. You're thinking Canada. Yeah, same. If I were to guess, and I guess that's huh, the name of the game, right? Um, I would have gone Canada. But we're at 188, so I want to double check. I want to find at least one pretty secure meta. So I would be looking for some metric, a speed limit sign. Um, French? Could be a thing. Tim Hortons? Um, some, uh, restaurants serving poutine. Uh, Beaver tail candy, or don't even know if it's classified as candy, but a snack of some sort. What else? What else do I know? Probably more things. Canadian things. Maple syrup. Maple trees. Uh, <laughs> hmm. What else? Taro, my friend. Welcome. Good morning. A school bus. But I mean, that doesn't really help. Because you'll find them in both the US and Canada. But Prairie Valley. That sounds American, doesn't it? The word A? Bagged milk? Apologies? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> you're right. Uh, hockey rinks? Um, I'm looking for anything metric or imperial on this one. I don't recognize the license plate because I'm horrible at license plates, but... I love these buses. I really want one of these buses, rebuild it into a camper, and just go traveling. It's been done a million times, but I love the idea. I love the idea. But we do find these in both the US and Canada, right? No, Jay thinks it's Canada for sure. What is the, um... What is the major tip-off for you, then? What, what is the thing that makes you think this is definitely Canada? Was that a Manitoba plate? Is this Manitoba? I don't know. Maybe? Maybe? <laughs> oh, Keck boy, hey, how are you? Good morning, and or afternoon, or evening. I don't know where you're from. <laughs> how are you, my friend? Not a normal Manitoba place, okay. Do we keep going a little bit then? Or, you know. You only know what they look like when they're blurred? Well, it was blurred on the front, so I can show it, show it to you. I can show it to you. You know what we'll do instead of keep moving? Because this is a an endless road. There's the plate blurred. Does that help? You guys discuss. I'll set up a poll. 
Wait. We could set up a prediction for this one. Should we do that? Oh, actually, now, now Milbund is sure, though. So it is Manitoba. I'm doing great, by the way, Kekboy. Is that... That is an eye. Yes, it is. I'm playing without my glasses right now because it's a uh, point redeem. But now that I... S Espen just got 10 free minutes of me playing without the glasses. You're welcome. There we are. I can finally see you again. All right. So we're saying this is Manitoba. Oh, you're saying you don't know. Okay. Do a prediction. Yeah, let's do it. Prediction or a poll, though? Because more people can partake in the poll. A lot of people can't do predictions. Can I do both? I can do both. Ah, let's do a poll. You're right. It's more inclusive that way. Uh, where is it? There it is. I've moved some stuff around, so... Oh, come on. Let me write. There we go. Oh, my keyboard to switch languages. That's why. <laughs> this is a mess. Uh... All right, I'll do a minute though. The poll is live. Cast your votes, people. What do you think? You can tell it's North America for sure. I definitely agree with you on that one. There we go. The poll is live. Cast your votes, people. There will be no stickers though, you know? Almost look like a North Dakota play. What if it is? What if it is? You know, we're doing the, demo the democratic thing, though. So, no matter what the uh, the poll says, we're going with that. It could be the end of the streak at 188. Okay, we Canada is winning out big right now. 11 to 0. What the hell? Okay. You guys definitely know something I don't. Because to me, this is like a 50-50 shot right now. But I do trust you. Sooner than you, by the way, good uh, good morning or, you know, wherever you're from. Hope you're having a good one. Uh, can I tell what it says under school bus? Emergency door is what it says. I can give you the super zoom so you can see it as well. Maybe. Hey, <laughs> see that? I feel like that says emer emergency door right there. I think. All right. The poll is up. It. The Canada wins out 11 to 1. Okay, we're doing Canada. That's the way this works. Here we go. What if we're wrong? I want to see at least like one Prage in chat. I need a Prage for this one because, you know. What if it isn't? Gothrush bets is US? Alright, well. <laughs> The bird in the bus is more common in Canada. What bird? Is that a bird right there? That is a bird right there. Is he actually riding the bus? No shot. No shot that's a bird riding a bus. That's not a bird. <laughs> Imagine if it's Russia. Imagine. All right, here we go now. It worked out. It worked out. Oh, yeah. It wasn't Manitoba. I mean, it could be a Manitoban bus. They've just got a long way to school. They could be driving from Winnipeg, and they're heading to Regina uh, for school. You never know. Nicely done, everybody. Well done. 189. Are we going to make it to 200? Are we going to make it to 200? All right. I see language. I see you, language. Now, we don't have yellow plates, so it's not Israel. We know that for sure. Um, I've forgotten all my metas. I suddenly just forgot all my metas. 
Uh oh. Northern or southern? Milbrand says Tunisia. Let's see if we can find a follow car. There's a follow bike. Unless that's the car over there. Uh, the sun is to our south. So we're in the northern hemisphere. Not being followed, but it still looks like Tunisia. Oh. Is that helpful? Is that helpful at all? Follow car is kind of behind. He's doing a bad job of being a follow car. Catch up. It is Tunisia, says uh, Seep. All right. You know, you're, several of you guys are saying, calling out for uh, Tunisia here. Dister coming in with the follow. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. I hope your day uh, is beautiful so far. Let's see. We're just doing a little bit of country streaks for now, trying to run the streak up to 200. Then we're going to switch it on over to um, Chatcaster after that one, so you guys can join in even more. French and Arabic and the license plates fit. I was looking for language and I couldn't find any. But I trust you. Desimba, thank you so much for the follow as well. I appreciate that. I hope that you've had a beautiful weekend. Uh, how are you? Tunisia is a viable choice. Let's do it. Here we go. It works. I would have expected more of a follow car close up there, but I guess not. 190. We have 10 more as we land in this probably Baltic forest. We did see a bicyclist though, so it could just as easily be the Netherlands. Uh, but this could also be like Finland, couldn't it? Uh, babes coming in as well. How are you, Habibi? How are you? Good morning. I hope you're doing well. I saw you were on quite late yesterday. Uh, but I didn't get home until you were off, I think. So I didn't get to join in with you. Melbrand is leaning Estonia. Alright. I can see this being Estonia. I haven't seen a single piece of birch yet, though. That's not birch, is it? I don't think so. That's birch. Now that is birch. <laughs> You're a simple man. You see gravel, you go Estonia. I do the same for Latvia, though. Or Lithuania as well. I mean, I go gravel and I definitely lean uh, Baltic. That's for goddamn sure. Uh, the trees look kind of Polish. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> let's figure this one out. There's a couple of ways to tell the difference. Chief among them, especially if you're talking Poland versus... Um, Poland versus Baltic, I would go language, probably. But between the Baltic countries, you could use mile markers, bus stops. Uh, in certain cases, language. What is this? That is such a cool building. I would love to live there. I mean, it does need a little bit of... You no, know, maybe a new la layer of paint. Um, maybe some caulking up here. Looks like it would be drafty, but it's beautiful. Let's find a sign. Yeah, let's do it. You're right. Sooner new likes Estonia here as well. You know, I can definitely see that. But I want to double check it. You kind of like the Polish guess. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, not that Poland is a bad thing. It's just that I was so sure this was Baltic. We'll see who's right. We'll see who's right. Huh. This is some thick forest, though. Do you count? You don't count Poland as Baltic, do you? I always thought of Poland as Central Europe. I don't know if there's a difference. You know. But okay, if it is, it is. I always just count these three. These three are the Baltics to me. You know? Oh, you do? Alright, well. I've always heard that Polish people prefer, you know, uh, Central European. Especially Central over Eastern European. I know that much. You know? That makes sense. Uh, these ones, though, I don't recognize them, but I know they're a thing. We're coming up to some buildings up there, though. You could spam the little white arrow? Do you think this is faster, though? I mean, it could be. It could be a little bit faster. But we've reached this. 
Arete. I don't recognize that at all. It's twice as fast. That's a myth. Nobody gives a uh, fucking Poland if we're Eastern or Central. Oh, well, I think that came from a, like a... Oh, I'm blanking on the name now. Geography Now video, I think. And I don't want to offend anyone, you know? You're pretty sure this is Estonia? All right, I like that. I feel like we're coming up on something that's definitely going to be helpful, though. Like a mile marker. Estonia, but yeah, well, a lot of you are saying Estonia now. When we say the Baltic states, you mean Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. Okay, cool. I'll, uh, I'll try to uh, remember that. I want to do it properly. That's what I mean, though. When I started out doing GeoGuessr, I was so bad. I've gotten a lot better. Um... You know, there's a, what is this? There's two different languages there. It's Estonia. Okay, let's do it. You're all calling out for it. Here we go. Yeah, nicely done. Nicely done, 191. We have nine more. And this is probably San Marino. Could be Italy as well. But it kind of looks like San Marino, doesn't it? A little bit. The poles don't look like Belarus and Russia due to history. That's the only reason people prefer Central. Oh, well. I get it, though. Sorry, I get it. You know. But I, I really... I want to get it right, you know? You think you saw C? I think I see C too. Right there. If there's C, it can't be San Marino. Oh, you know, that's some good thinking right there. So that kind of just leaves us with uh, Italy by default, doesn't it? That is so beautiful though. Look at that. Look at that. It is landlocked, you're right. But I feel like it... I feel like you could... That's not too far, is it? I mean, it's too far for this place, so... Sooner than you, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Alright, let's go ahead and send this one. You think it's further south as well? Yeah. It looks like it. It's beautiful. No matter where this is, I want to go there. You know? Oh, it's us. Look at us. Hello. All right, I'm gonna send it. Here we go. Boom. Absolutely boom. 192. You're absolutely right. Now, someone asked earlier, right? About the Kenya experience. This is the mirror that I meant on the left-hand side of the car. Uh, sometimes you find a snorkel up there as well. But I am pretty sure this is gonna end up being Kenya. Suddenly, I had like a pang of I'm not quite sure. Mainly because of the... The city vibe to it. I feel like I don't see that a whole lot. Not a whole lot. But I guess this has got to be it. There we go. Rob coming in there as well. Hey, dude, how are you? Good morning, good morning. Spires with the lurker tax. Thank you for paying the lurker tax. It is so important. Oh, and Spires is back. Oh, well, <laughs> that was a quick lurk. Welcome back, my friend. Uh, I'm going to send this one. Kenya, here we go. Boom, it is Mombasa. Good call. 193. Now, I have a feeling this is going to be one of the Baltic states. Huh? I'm learning. Huh? See? Look at me! We need Tuk Tuk's in Europe? Yeah, I've seen them for sale. And they're surprisingly not very expensive. But they're definitely not, like, super great when it comes to snow. Wait, that's an octagonal pole. That should be, uh, Mexico, shouldn't it? 
Oh, it's Uruguay. I'm way off. I mean, Goth Rush, come on. If you can count Poland, you could easily count Uruguay as a Baltic state, right? The Baltic state of Uruguay. <laughs> Damn it. All right, well. Shut up. <laughs> 194. There we go. Nice. Okay. Um, now this is definitely Uruguay. You, you know, it's got that same... It's not even octagonal at this point. This is a square one. It's connected to the Baltic Sea. You see? You're right. You could swim there. Easy. This is... Uh, Cyrillic. I blanked on the name there for a minute. We have Cyrillic. Look at the car, sure. Uh, black and a long antenna. Huh, do we have blue tags? Or yellow and blue tags? I don't think we do. It's gonna be Russia, isn't it? It's gonna be Russia, isn't it? It's too bright. See, that's kind of what I'm thinking as well. I, I was for a minute there. Ooh, look at that. Ah, oh, so beautiful. I was kind of thinking there for a minute that it could have been, um... Could have been Bulgaria because of the, the sunlight. <laughs> but, you know. This is just straight up Russia, isn't it? Acrylic. There you go, Melbrand. Good call. Good shout. It is Russia, though, isn't it? Maybe check more flights? Sure. I mean, we did have that issue before here, didn't we? Where I, I was looking for ages to try and find the blue tag. Uh, or the... Yeah, there you go. Definitely. It even has, like, the flag on it. Yeah. I'm gonna send this one. Boom. Okay, 195. As we end up in the UK with the yellow backplates. The yellow no parking and or stopping line. Uh, and the driving on the left and the... Uh, the central London, the Ealing, the Oxford. That's gotta be it. Donetsk and, and uh, Luhansk. Is that Lutansk? I, I might I might be mixing that one up. They all have the black car. I didn't even know that. Did I? Yeah, I think we maybe talked about that a couple of uh, couple of days ago. Maybe. The yellow plates mean it's either the Netherlands or the UK. True. But you have white plates on the front, so it's going to be uh, the UK. Here we go. Boom. 196. We are getting closer. Okay, I'm not even going to say anything here. Uh, <laughs> I'm scared now. Yeah, occasional Lux as well, and in France, sometimes. As well as Israel. Um, I'm blanking on the rest. Baltic vegetation, you're right. So this is definitely gonna be Uruguay then, right? Laos and Colombia? Oh, Colombia, yeah, I forgot about Colombia there. True. It's a very good indication for Colombia, too. So really well done. Let's see what else. Uh, oh, and Ecuador taxis? No, you're wrong. They're orange. It's different. They're orange. And sometimes they just have the orange line up top of them. But, but I mean, close enough. Close enough, though. Honestly. Where is this, though? I haven't passed anything yet, have I? I don't think I have. An argument could be made for dark yellow. Well, <laughs> now we're just splitting hairs, aren't we? Not even. Orange is a wannabe yellow. Well, okay. Listen. I mean, it's been established. It's got its own color and its own fruit. So, you know. 
Oh, you're colorblind in that case. Well, well done. Well done then. You know, we celebrate that. I wonder if I'm colorblind. I could be. There are tests for that. I should probably go through that at some point. I wouldn't be surprised though. Where is this, guys? I don't get it. I don't recognize the nature. It's got this kind of strange Baltic state uh, feel to it, but I don't think that's it. Could this be like Poland? It's finished Japan. That makes sense. Slovakia, maybe. It's actually not a bad shout. Let's see. Maybe even Sweden. A lot of woods, woodland in Sweden, but I don't see... Actually, yeah. It doesn't feel like Sweden to me, but I wouldn't be surprised. You know, it's a big country too, so... Maybe getting on an actual road. I'm trying, all right? We're just trekking through the woods at this point. The road doesn't feel Swedish. I mean, we are in the middle of a uh, forest, right? I guess it could be just like a privately owned road leading to like a farm or something. But I'm working on it. We will get... It. The road doesn't feel finished. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I do agree though. In On both accounts. You know. This is a long road. I hate this. And I'm going as fast as we possibly can, right? We'll get it eventually. We'll get it eventually. Finish roads are better? I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, the bar is pretty low, let's be honest. The sun is to our south, though, so we know that we're at least in the northern hemisphere. Not that anyone was questioning that, but I answered it anyway. That looks so nice. Imagine hanging out here. The train passing by. Could I have a, just a cheeky barbecue? Keep out of the rain? I love that. I love that. <gasps> a bicycle. So it's the Netherlands, right? It's gotta be. Oh yeah, again, they have the spamming the arrow thing. I'm just afraid the, the microphone will pick up the clicks. If I, it's a it's a wireless arrow though, so if I do this, now you can't hear a thing. Just hold it by my side. I don't know, I mean, yeah, sure, I, I guess I could see this being slightly faster. Sure. Everything else fits as well. Especially the Dutch mountains, true. Okay, we have a house here. We could figure this out based on this. I don't think this is Sweden. I'm gonna call that right away. I like the Slovakia guess. Um, weirdly enough, I could have gone with Switzerland as well with the type of house, but we're not low cam, so that's out of the question. Oh, that way you don't have to wait for it to load in again before you move. True, but the WASD is not the same, right? No, that's slower. All right. What about this? Is that going to be a meta? Anyone know? Antenna with a piece of tape on it? I know I've called that one out before, but I can't remember which is, which countries have that. All right, we're just going to zoom along for a bit. It's in too many countries, damn it. The Carpathians, probably. Oh. Oh, the thing moved. Pretty sure Czechia and Slovakia both have it. I could technically see this being both of those two, though. Okay, another house. And some language. Ooh, nice. Journey Balog. There's something above the sea, but I don't know if it's a line or a tilde. Seep is thinking Slovakia probably. Okay. more language 
That doesn't speak to me at all. Milbrandt is thinking Slovakia as well. If you were to put a percentage on that guess, how sure are you? <gasps> Wait, I know this one. I know when it comes to Slovakia and uh, Czechia, I know that one of them uses Yulicha like this with an A at the end. The other one doesn't, right? I think that's a way to tell them apart. But I can't remember which is which. I think the Slovakia one has the Yulicha with the A at the end. So I agree with your Slovakia guess. Everyone is calling out for Slovakia. Let's do it. Let me see a single page though in chat. Just in case. You know, I know we all agree. But there is always the possibility that we're wrong. Shirley Balrog is... Balog? I said Balrog, didn't I? I, I was trying to make so sure that I didn't, and then I ended up doing it anyway. Yulicha is Polish and Slovakian. Okay, cool. Let's do it. There we go. And it works out! 197. We need three more, and we reach 200. Chat, can we do this? Are we really gonna see a 200 streak together today? This magical Sunday out of nowhere? I didn't even expect to do that today. I think this is going to be, um, this kind of feels like turkey to me. Right. Otherwise, we shall not have passed that round. True. Luckily, we just flew past it. It was fine. You know, I don't recognize the language at all. Romania. Oh, that is a good call. That is a good call. Well done. Here we go. All right, 198. And we're back. <gasps> I've learned this once before, but I forgot about it. I know this is very iconic, and some of you probably know the, uh, the meta with that one. Is that a black sock? It is. Oh, <gasps> wait. Is that a Russian meta then? It is! There we go! The A with the arc on top is a good way to recognize Romanian. Hell yeah! Nice! I feel like the Romanian language is so unique. Sometimes it's really easy to, uh, to see it, like to, to recognize it. All right, we have white and red chevrons, black socks. I'd be looking for bollard spam, the lack of a blue tag on license plates, obviously uh, language, and mile markers that kind of look like the Latvian one, but it's slightly bigger. We have black car and long antenna as well. This is definitely Russia. Here we go, 198. Boom, way, way out east. Cool. Okay, 199. 199. Which one is going to be the 200th one? And it looks to me to be Argentina or Uruguay. Actually, wait a minute. Actually, wait a minute. Hello, sir. I'm just looking at your license plate, all right? Um, is it, though? Is it, though? One weird plate, ignore it, true. True. You know? I don't recognize any of this. Was there a Mexico on the sign? It, there could have been. Which which of them? <laughs> There's a lot of them. Uh, I could definitely see that, though. But I think... Going off of the, the look of the place otherwise, I would have said Argentina or Uruguay. Kushit coming in as well, as well as Gavitron, by the way. Good morning. How are you doing? It's early over there. Oh, I see. I get that for sure. Uh, this is going to be a slow and steady way of waking up, though. Raptor coming in with the lurker text. Thank you, my friend. It is so important. You know, the lurker taxes keep this nation of ours running. So pay your taxes, right? It's important. 
Trust me. Uh, the plates you look Uruguayan. <gasps> Horsey! He's just following us. Oh, he stopped. That's fine. <laughs> Paying when the uh, chat catch is starting. I mean, it will be very soon. We, we're getting up to 100, so, so it'll be like a minute. It'll be like a minute. The dog follow is Argentina meta. No shot. No shot. That's the thing. That's not a thing, is it? Is that a thing? I love it. What happens if you avoid paying your taxes? Oh, you don't want to find out. Oh, you don't want to find out. Listen, it's a... Uh... <laughs> Dogs follow you anywhere? Oh, cute. What even is this? What even is that? Uh, are we thinking? Yeah, hey, Jack, welcome back, my friend. We are still going strong. We're one away from reaching the 200 point and switching it on over to Chatcaster right after that. So get ready for it. I have no idea with this one, though. Can I find license plates? I will certainly try. Uh, there's no cars, though. <laughs> at all. <laughs> Guys, where are you? Probably down here. I mean, there's a car. Doesn't even have a license plate. Neither does that one. I found you a car, though. Do you want it? Do you want it? You know. I'm guessing scooter license plates don't count. This is more difficult than it has any right to be at this point. And it is probably because we're on the cusp of the 200 streak right here. I mean, we do have a website, but it's a .com. So it's useless to me. You saw a Uruguayan flag? Wait. I didn't see a Uruguayan flag. Let's send it. The Baltic State of Uruguay. Here we go. It's going to be number 200. Are you ready for it? I want this dude in the picture. But where'd he go? Kitty. Kitty. He was right here. Oh, he's gone now. He's probably out hunting mice or whatever they do. There he is. Cute. Okay, let's send it. 200 chat on a Sunday afternoon. Here we go. Get your clappers ready, all right? I want to see some clappers. Here we go. Boom. It was indeed Uruguay. We made it to 200. We have a 200 streak going right now. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. Who wants to switch it on over to Chatgasser? I feel like it's time. We've been going for two hours and a half with the streaks. It's way longer than we normally do. Well done, everybody. All right, let me just update some stuff. You know what we're, we're gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna throw you over for a quick ad break so we get that one out of the way while I set this up. Uh, you'll probably get like one ad. And I'll see you back, all right? Because what you don't want to see me switch windows, update titles, and that kind of thing. Anyway, it's boring, all right? So I'll see you in like 20 seconds, and then we get started. You won't miss a thing. Here we go. Did that work? I think it did. All right. <laughs> All right, Gothrush, thank you so much for hanging out, my friend. If you can still hear me, I just realized that I might have thrown you into an ad break there. Uh, I'm so sorry if that's the case. If not, you know, if not, if you're still there, I hope to see you again later. Have an awesome Sunday. All right, uh, let's see. Chat guesser. And we update that, and I switch the way. Oh, I haven't even launched the chat guesser thing. There we go. So, yo, Lurky, happy Sunday. How are you? How is your Sunday so far? I hope it's going great. Let's see. I forgot to 
switch that thing over. There we are. I'll just wait for the people to come back. It says about 30 seconds for people to come back. There we go. All right. If you guys want, I'm guessing most people are back now, right? You're not still in, uh, what happened to this? What the hell? It's all the way zoomed in? Is it supposed to be this big? I feel like it's not supposed to be this big. Are you seeing this? It's massive. Wait, wait, there we go. Fixed it. I fixed it. It's fine. You're freaking out, chat. It's fine. All right. Your Sunday is pretty good. Just came home. We came f back from a run and eating a cereal bar. Nice. Which one, though? I'm curious. What is your favorite uh, cereal bar? All right, if you guys want to join in on this, you could put an exclamation mark CG in chat. By the CG as in chat guesser. Um, you just click that link. It'll take you to a world map. And you click on that map wherever you think we are. That'll put your guess onto your clipboard. You paste that one into chat and that's it. That is all you need to do. It is completely free. You don't have to install anything. And best of all, you don't even have to be good at the game. All right, just have fun with it. Just go with your gut. That's what I do. That's all I do. Kashit, welcome back. The, uh... Oh, that one, Lurky, I've had that one. It is good. It hurts my teeth a little bit, though. They're so hard, you know? And I'm, I'm getting up there in age. I gotta be careful with my teeth, you know? <laughs> That's so bad. I didn't know we had these, this liked maps. Uh, drop down here. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know that and you didn't tell me? How long have you known about this? Huh? This. How would you, how would you keep such a secret from me? That's so much easier. Teeth are expensive. You're right. You know that's what my one sort of claim to fame? I've never had a single cavity in my life. Ever. I've, I'm proud of that. I work hard at it floss once to twice a day brush my teeth you know all of that and, and probably a good dose of genetics as well but you know parents everyone around me they keep having cavities so i don't know i don't know about that one i should be proud i kind of am i kind of am a little bit all right cavity free gang let's go okay are you ready we'll be doing five two minute rounds for this one all right here we go we're starting right now. Oh, that was another button. We're starting right now. Two minutes. Do your best. No spoilers in chat. Here we go. Probably make this a bit smaller so I can see. You can see now, right? And you're all back and everything. Everything is good. Is everybody good? I hope you are. Oh, we immediately have some guesses coming in. Boo Boo with the closest guess. We have Seep, the first one to actually get the country right. Uh, let us start out like this, right? We have the sun. It is to our south. You know? I guess I could do this as well. What do you want to see, chat? What do you want to see, chat? I'll just keep panning and zooming. Until the dogs come home. The music stops. I don't like that. I didn't ask for the music to stop. There we go. Here we are. All right. 50 seconds remaining in this round. This might be a slightly tricky one, though. It kind of looks like it's going off of the leaderboard. You know? Um, you know? <laughs> Dimitro, no! Sorry, dude. All right, we're gonna do this as well. So you can see the houses, right, in the distance. See the house right there? Look at the architecture. Look at this car right here. This, this strange looking car. That might be a thing. Anything else? I don't think so. I feel like I've zoomed in on all the details. But this is beautiful though, isn't it? Kinda, a little bit. A <laughs> raptor? That is a good question. I think I know. I think I might know. 
Time is up though. I'm gonna close out the guesses here and then I'll make my own guess. Uh, I definitely have a strong feeling with this one. It looks a little bit familiar. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this is Norway. I mean, I, I know this is Norway, right? No way this is Norway. Uh, oops, sorry, didn't mean to move you there. There you are. Put you back where you uh, where you belong up there. I mean, you could see the flag right there. That's a good indication. Uh, you also have the 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 single yellow dividing line. I knew once I saw this that this was gonna throw you off the unbroken outer line, which is normally a finished meta. Uh, but in this case, I think we're up here. Maybe slightly further up here, but I'm gonna go because of the mounts and the fjord looking thing. I'm gonna go like right. Actually, it couldn't be that far west, could it? What if we're like right here? That's a good guess. I like that guess. Probably on the main road though, right there. Let's see! Oh, you missed the flag, Kirky. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I tried to uh, sort of subtly hint at it because I zoomed in like this and I tried to lead your attention to this. But it was right there in plain sight all along. All right, I'm gonna send this one. And then we'll see. There we go. Boom. Not too bad. Raptor, though, absolutely winning out on this one, 174 kilometers, but did not get the country. Still really well done. Myself in second, streak of two, a distance of 213. Uh, we have Kashit in third at 513, and we have one of the Smurfs coming in. Well done. Boo Boo, check. Uh, do I, what, what do I call you? De Decimba or just Imba? Or what do you prefer? Let me know. Kirky, we have Seif, Gavatron, Caleb, Revenant, No J, Squidmaker. Hey, that's a new name, I think. I don't think I've heard your name before. Welcome in, my friend, and Dimitrov. Well done all around. Just Imba? Sure, I can do that. I'm gonna zoom out and have a look at the, um... This is the word I normally go for. Look at the, uh, the guesses. Oh, look at the spread. That's what I normally go with squid maker. Thank you for the follow my friend. I appreciate that I'm gonna zoom out and look at the spread fair warning. I will n I'm not doing that to make fun of your guesses I would never make fun of your guesses. Uh, it's only because I'm curious to see where you ended up uh, And I will ask you guys as well Don't make fun of other people's guesses because I will time you out for it. It is tantamount to uh, You know bully and I don't like bully so here we go Oh, we are spread out. I like it. And I can see that. Canada, US, sure. Chile, we have Australia too. There is a lot of uh, a lot of reasons why you could end up there with this kind of a location. Absolutely. Absolutely. We do have a bully free pass on Czech. That's true. Czech is kind of the, uh, the punching bag of the channel. That is very true. I mean, how could you not though? Look at it. Sixth. 680 kilometers that's such a stupid number <laughs> just a streak of two is that all is that all you can do a streak of two i thought you were better than that all right yeah true that is the first rule of the channel actually that is not the first rule of the channel if you do exclamation point rules you'll see the actual rules i think i can't remember what the first one is i think english only in chat that's gonna be the first one i'm pretty sure but here we go though we are heading on over to round number two Two more minutes on the clock. Good luck, chat. I believe in you. Here we go. We had a question as well. I will uh, answer that one while we go. Uh, long yellow lines equals Norway. Yes. Normally, that would be the case. If they're long broken lines. Like, not a continuous line like the one we saw there. But still. Um, sometimes you'll find unbroken lines like that. So what I, I mean, I have a little bit of an advantage, I guess, advantage, I guess. Some would call it the home field advantage. But if you see mountains, generally, you're probably not in Finland, I think. Not that mountain, mountains are super rare over there in Finland, but there's just something about the nature, I guess. 
kind of hard to put my name on it. Or my, my finger on it. My name on it? I put my name on it all day. Yo, Nat coming in with a guest there. How are you, my friend? Good morning. I saw you on the leaderboard before I saw you in chat. That's scary. How are you, dude? You're up early. You're up way early. I hope you're doing well. How was your weekend then so far? See with the sexy points at 4330. Nice, the sex number. Well done, Seep. Hell yeah. Street signs? What, what do you want to see? We have this. Also have these. They're really hard to make out. And with like 25 seconds left on the clock, not even. Probably more like 20. Um, this is going to be a rush. You're a little tired? I definitely get that. I definitely get that. You know? Okay, shit, with the misclick this time. I'm sorry, dude. Time is officially up, though. I'm gonna close out the guesses here. And uh, then I'll go ahead and make my own guess. I won't put too much time into this one. The one thing I will say is that I saw this immediately. The Manitoba one. I didn't want to call too much attention to it. But that is definitely a uh, Canadian province, I guess, right? State? Province? It's a province in Canada, isn't it? You call them provinces in Canada, don't you? All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and send this one. Where, though? Going off of the uh, um, sort of vegetation, I'd say probably pretty far south. So we'll go like and just the fact that they put like street things up there uh, I'm gonna go right here that's a good one here we go can I beat squid maker at 50 kilometers that is impressive let's see boom that is how it's done myself in first place a streak of three and a distance of 30 kilometers Pretty close to that 5k, not gonna lie. We have Squid, though, like I said, in a strong second now. Uh, 50.8 kilometers, also very close to that 5k there. We have Seep in third, building on that streak of two now. Distance of 266 kilometers. And we have Raptor, Gavatron, Boo Boo, Jack, Kishit, Nat, Imba, Revenant, uh, Caleb, Kirky, Smurf, or one of the Smurfs anyway. The Smurf and Dimitro. Well done, everybody. Everybody got points. That's the important part. All right, run number three is coming up. Are you ready? There we go. Wait, let me let me do this since uh, since you asked Turkey. This is the spread. You're number thirteen, so you ended up over there. Oh, you're actually in uh, in the U.S. There. I'm sorry, dude. I've been tricked by that one before. It happens. Here we go, though. Round number three. Two more minutes on the clock here. Good luck. Ooh, this one is interesting. This one is interesting looking. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We have these power poles right here. Uh, they look pretty... I mean, also interesting. Uh, a average-sized antenna... Where's the sun at? Let's see. It's right there. There's the compass behind me. I would say that's like slightly south. Not by much, but slightly. You know? Not a whole lot else to go by. No language, really. Just a straight shot road into nothingness. Which is... I mean, that looks so cool, though. I would love to travel down a road like this. Absolutely. A minute remains on the clock here. Um, no one's... Oh, Boo Boo coming in with the first guess. A distance of 9,900. Not bad. Didn't get the country, though. As is the case with Raptor. Didn't get the country, but slightly closer on the distance. We're honing in on it. We are honing in on it. Uh, we have a sign over here on the right-hand side. So that might help out a little bit. 
I don't know what else to zoom in on. I have like a slight feeling, so I know what I would plonk, but it's hard to be sure. Squid maker Caleb coming in as well. Nat, no one's gotten the country yet. Who's gonna be the first one? 20 seconds remaining. Someone's gotta do it. You know? At some point. Sun to our slight south. These kinds of power poles right here. Revenant is gonna be the first one to get the country. Well done. At a distance of 842. We have Smurf as well coming in. Getting it as well. I have a weird feeling about this one. Time is up though. I'm going to close out the guesses here. Then I'll make my own guess. Uh, based on very little. I'm going to take a big chance on this one. Because I'm not like entirely sure. But. Are we playing Community World next? This is Community World. See? It's up there. <laughs> but yes. That may be. Probably. Yeah. Probably more than likely another one. Yes. Uh, oh, we have a map redeemed from Nat there, though, so probably not then. An aesthetic world is coming up next. All right, that's what we'll be doing. Um, my guess on this one is gonna be... For the longest time here, I was thinking, like, uh, Peru. But these ones were bothering me. They kind of look like the ones you'll find in Russia. A little bit. They have this thing up there. Uh, the more that I think about it... I'm kind of feeling Russia, weirdly enough. You know? So I'm gonna do that. It's a risky one, and I could be way off. But I see a lot of people are way off, so why not? Uh, probably way far east, though. That's where we need to be to go that far south. I wish I had other cars and everything to, uh... To figure this one out, but I guess we don't. I'll just plonk myself right there. Why not? It's risky, but here we go. If it's Russia, you're so bad. Well, no, it's a... On my end, this is just a straight-up guess. There we go. Boom. Okay. I mean... I got the country, at least. I was on the way wrong side of the, the country, but that's fine. Alright, well, I'll take it. Revenant, yo, Gasson coming in with the follow there. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Uh, we have Revenant in first place position, getting the country at a distance of 842. Well done. Seep in second, missed out on the country though. Four, uh, 1238 kilometers. Nat in third, 1330 uh, kilometers there. Well done. We have Czech Gasson with a new guest. Oh, that's your first guest in the channel, I think. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We have Caleb as well, Squid, Raptor, Gav, myself, uh, Smurf, Boo Boo, Kirky, Imba, and Kishit, 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 definitely nailed it, first try, hell yeah, alright, oh that was the exact phrase you would have plunked the seat, no, next time though, you'll get it next time, are you in the exact same location there, wait, where are you though? See, Nat was in third, and third place is right there. Well done, in Turkey. I can see that. Turkey is a tricky one. There's a bunch of different biomes, as if it's a Minecraft world. But, you know, a bunch of them. Round number four is coming up. Two more minutes on the clock. Here we go. There we go. Are you feeling valued, chat? I hope so. I value you, alright? What else do we have? I feel like there's gonna be some information on these billboards, but... We could look around and see what else we could find. Give it the old 360. Yo, Price coming in. Welcome, my friend. How are you? Happy Sunday. Hope you're doing well. I don't know about this one. There's no, like, country name, no domain name, nothing. I am definitely doing fine as well. It is a Sunday. And I love me a good Sunday, so... 
I hope yours is as well. We have some license plates over there, though. That might might tip you off a little bit. Gas tank on top of the car. Oh, this one. Yeah, the good old gas tank meta. Prize with the follow. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that a lot. Seep coming in with the initial guess. Nailing the country at 14 kilometers. Wait. What? Imba overtaking that guess at 8.9. What the hell? Raptor Smurfs as well. Well done. I don't actually know with this one yet. I have like a strange feeling. We were talking about that before, weren't we? Sun and car. Sun and car. Alright, so the sun would be, according to this shadow, right? The sun would probably be out there. I can't even see it. But there's the um, compass. There is no sun below us, though. Or no car below us, other than this. You know? You see the blue house with the billboard? Sure, that one. There's the blue house with the billboard. Two billboards, actually. All right, time is up though, so now would be the uh, time to make your guess. I am actually struggling with this one a little bit. A little bit. And I'll tell you why, right? Because I know this is Africa. And when it comes to coverage in Africa, you're stuck with Southern Africa. So you have South Africa, Lesotho, Ispatini. You have Botswana, which I know this is not Botswana, right? We don't have any yellow backplates. Uh, I think this is a Gen 3, so it could be either of the Southern Africa ones, but I don't feel it. So we're stuck with Kenya, Uganda, which it isn't, because there's no roof rack and there's no snorkel or mirror meta. So you're kind of stuck with Tunisia. But this is all in English. I feel like this would have been in uh, French if this were Tunisia. And there's no follow car. You know? So, you know, what am I left with? Did I forget about Ghana and Nigeria? I did! It's not Ghana, we don't have the tape. It could be Nigeria. Nigeria without the follow car? Unless that's the follow car. The English checks out. I would be looking for a lot of religious iconography if this were Nigeria. Which I'm not really seeing. I'm gonna send Nigeria. It is a little bit of a gamble. Because I feel like I might be on the way wrong side of the whole ass continent if I'm if I'm wrong, but it's worth a shot. We're gonna be up here probably. Outskirts of Abuja. Right there. Here we go. Alright, well. It worked out. It was Lagos. Or a gege? I don't know if there's a difference. It seems like it's one and the same. But that's fine. It was indeed Nigeria, though. Imba absolutely nailing this one at 8.9. Holy. Gav not far behind at 11. Uh, and we have Seep in third at 14. Smurfs as well, very close at 14.5. Uh, we have Raptor in fifth. Myself, Gassen, Check, Dirtix, Boo Boo, Nat, Price, uh, Kirky, Squid, and Revenant. Well done all around. I want to see the spread on this one. Again, no making fun of guesses. It's just because I'm curious. Yeah, I yeah, get yeah, that. We're all around like similar-ish places, which makes sense. Awesome. You knew it was not Senegal, but you didn't know what to do. Same. I'm glad I gave myself that uh, that sort of last think at the end there. Round number five is coming up. Two minutes on the clock. Here we go. And keep in mind, me giving myself that last thank at the end, that's not unfair because I spend all this round sort of looking around while you guys can just sit back and think. My thinking happens at the end of the timer, right? It's fine. This is my house. We play by my rules, right? <laughs> oh, you panic guessed that? I get that. I was very close to that. I would have done the same, actually, probably. If I were in your shoes, I definitely would have. All right, we start out with some license plates. Um, not a lot of language going on. We have this. 
pretty thick. The bank Edward said it was the Pan-African Bank. Oh, nice. That is awesome. Nigeria is one of the bigger cities down there as well, right? Most populous, anyway. Can I go to the signboard with the language? This one, right? There's probably more of them. Ooh, there's a website right there, but you can't make out the domain name. Damn. That sucks for all of us. There's a plate. Let's see. There's a plate down there as well. Anything else? Any more plates? I don't think... Those are the only two. We do have a piece of tape on our antenna, though. And the sun is to the south of us. Anything else? Imba is the closest one so far at 99 meters? Wait! That is really impressive. Is that, Was that a random plonk or what? Really impressive. Uh, we have Price in second at 88. Ooh, so I was about to say Seep in third, but Raptor coming in at 3 meters. How? Time is up, though. I'm going to close out this guess. Or these, um... This round. Because the, the time is up. And it's my turn to make a guess. So if you haven't made a guess yet, now would be the time to throw it in. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and say this is probably Spain. Because I don't see the, the yellow tag on the right to indicate Portugal. And there's a thicker outline on the uh, no entry, or the, the entry prohibited sign. Other than that, I could have easily gone to Romania because of this. The thicker pole thing, but I don't think this is Romania. Unless it is. But it's too late now, I called it out, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Frick, I, I'm feeling Romania more and more now. I just got a second look at this. Am I drunk? Probably. Probably. This is gonna be Romania, but I called out Romania. Uh, I called out Spain. And like I always say, I'm a man of my words. I'm gonna willingly throw my streak. It sucks though. It sucks though. God damn it, I put it right there. It's fine. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. The thicker holy poly would have been a Romania uh, thing for sure. Raptor and Imba both with the 5k. Well done. Nicely done. Holy shit. Uh, 3 meters and 99 meters respectively. I don't know how you did it, but well done. Smurfs in third with a streak of 3 and a distance of 27.3. Well done too. We have Price, Seep, Dirtix. Red John coming in with a guess as well. I feel like I'm kind of recognizing your name, but I might not be. Welcome either way. We have Boo Boo as well. Kirky, Revenant, Chuck, Nat, Squid, Gav, and myself. But we don't have to talk about that. There we go. These are the guesses that sort of matter. Well done, everybody. Well done, everybody. It'll be my turn. Uh, no, it won't be. What the hell am I talking about? It'll be the summary coming up. What's happening? The two and a half hours of country streaks is kind of frying my brain, it feels like. Uh, but we're gonna do it this way. Let's have a look at the summary. There we are. Yeah, Daydream coming in with the raid. Welcome, everybody. How are you? How was stream, Daydream? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? I hope you've had fun either way. We're doing a little bit of... Um, Chatcaster here with these lovely people. So if you want to join in, you could put an exclamation mark uh, CG in chat. Just click the link and just, uh, you know, click on the map wherever you think we are per round. He was being very racist. Oh no, Daydream, that's not good, is it? <laughs> well, you know that'll happen. You know, some, some, if you know, it's, I, I wouldn't take that, but you know. <laughs> I hope you've been well, though. I hope you've had fun. That's the most important part. Well done, everybody. Uh, I think we will be doing one more. Uh, and the timing on this is kind of horrible. 
But uh, the way that we normally do this, I'll uh, just do this. Meanwhile, why not? Hey, how are you? Welcome. Uh, yeah, I hope your uh, I hope your day was awesome. I hope you've had fun together. Habibi as well. Hey, dude. Uh, the way that we normally do this is that between each and every round of Chatcaster, I throw a quick um, ad break to sort of turn off the pre-rolls and stuff like that, so that you don't get hit by random ads in the middle of play. So I'll do that right now. It'll take like 20 seconds and then I'll be right back here with the setup ready for you. We're doing a um, aesthetic world, which is a map redeemed by Nat. I'd be happy to do so. Uh, so when once you come back, we'll get the run started. You will not be missing a single second of play. All right, there we go. So I'll see you in like 20, maybe not even that. All right, I'll take the time to set up the, uh, let's see, there we go. What else? <laughs> Zoom out, you don't have to watch me work. Aesthetic world. That sounds good. I think we've played this one before, right? Nice, it'll be good. It will be good. It will be good. All right, what else? Oh, the timer will probably be reset. How is everybody? Just waking up, getting to get wrecked by Habibi. Says Nat, that'll be a good one. It will be a good one. Indeed. All right, what else do we have though? I'll just wait for people to come back so that I can explain the workings of the game in case somebody's new, which will happen. Uh, it'll happen from time to time, you know. Yeah, no. How's my Sunday? It is great. I woke up early. I had a busy day yesterday, driving a lot, hanging out with family, having a barbecue, all of that. It was awesome. Um, then I woke up early today and I thought, you know, let's get this. Let's get on. Let's hang out with some friends and explore the world. I love doing that on Sundays. Hanging out with you guys. It's the absolute best. All right. People should be coming back now. Let me know if you're back, people. Because I'll do the whole, like, um, tell you how to play this. If you want to join in, uh, it does say about 10 seconds more, though. So I'll give it, like, more. Okay, you're back. Awesome. I'm sorry about that. The timing was horrible. But that's the way the Twitch ads work. And I'd rather do that before a round so that you don't miss a second of actual play. Uh, instead of doing that in the middle of a round when the timer is running out and all of that. Uh, but okay, if you guys want to join in, you could put an exclamation mark, uh, CG in chat, click on the map there, wherever you think we are, uh, as close as you can get anyway, uh, and that'll put your guess onto your clipboard, so you just paste that into chat, and the bot will do the rest. Uh, now, you could also, uh, just sort of sign in with your Twitch account, and, uh, you don't have to do the whole copy-paste thing. It's free, and you do not have to install anything! So if you want to drop in, drop out, that is completely fine. Yo, Daydreaming, thank you so much again for the raid. I appreciate that so much. Uh, I hope that you'll have a beautiful Sunday afternoon, probably. I don't know what time it is where you are right now, but either way, I hope it's a nice one. And thank you for the compliment as well. I grew it myself. All right, are you ready? We'll be doing five, probably two minute rounds. It looks like that kind of map. It's a map with plenty of hand-picked urban and rural locations that are either beautiful, stylish, or telling a story. I'm gonna like this one before we play it, because it sounds awesome. Here we go. Five two-minute rounds starting right now. The timer will be right up there. Yeah, you can see it up there. It is up there now. Here we go. The first beautiful location of the day is... I mean, we've had some other beautiful locations, but in this map... Uh, it is this. What and or where is this? I have a feeling this could be anywhere, still. <laughs> 360, you've had the 360. The sun is right about where? There? I don't know. The shadows are right there, so it should be up there, but I don't see it. Is this it? Is that a sun? Chat, what is the sun? Uh, you have the uh, compass right there behind me, though. So the sun is definitely to our south. That's gonna give you some sort of an indication anyway. Uh, we have this. A website with a .com domain. Doesn't help that much, does it? Really doesn't help that much. 
but it is indeed beautiful. A minute remaining in this round. Boo Boo is the only one with the guess so far. The initial guess of that didn't quite get the country, but a distance is good. We have Rob coming in with the guess as well. Also missed, but still closer than Raptor, which is the only one to get the country right so far. And there we go, Nat coming in. Streak beginning now. It'll be a legendary streak, I'm sure of it. A distance of 6, 1, 3.9. Buyaka, Buyaka. I mean, almost. Uh, Boo Boo in second, still. See Red John Check coming in as well. We have two people, four, three people right now. Smurf getting it as well. Legendary streak equals four. Hell yeah. That is the highest one so far. Smurf carrying the highest streak right now. As we approach the 10 second mark of this round. So, you know, get your guesses ready if you have them. Once this timer reaches zero, it'll be time off. The guesses will be closed and you'll be too late. Let's see what else. Scraler and VNX coming in as well. Bradypus, Tridactylus with an awesome guess. Hell yeah, I love your name by the way. Welcome, welcome. I don't know if you came in with the raid or not, but either way, very welcome. How are ya? Time is up, I will close up the guesses here, and then it'll be my turn to make a guess. Now, to me, this is definitely a 50-50 shot. I don't know if this is gonna end up being the US or Canada, but it certainly is one of them. <sighs> you see these trucks, I don't know if it's a Kenwood or a Peterbilt, but it's one of them, and you see them all over the US and Canada. Uh, what else? There's no metric anywhere, you know? Probably over there, but I can't read that. That's way too far off. Anything else? No. I'm gonna stick with West Coast Canada, the way that I normally do with beautiful locations. I love you, BC. I really want to visit there sometime. What if we're, like, right here? Right outside of Squamish. Love it. I love it. All right. I'm sending this one, and we will see. The hint is US or Canada. I love it. Thank you, Jurtex. That is very helpful. I appreciate you. I, I know you're doing your best. <laughs> well done. All right. I'm going to send this one, and then we'll see who's right. BNX currently in the lead. Let's see if I can beat them. There we go. And I didn't. How is that in the middle of Wyoming? What the hell? BNX distance of 241. Never in doubt. Well done. Right outside of the Yellowstone National Forest. Oh, it's Bangahorn National Forest. Gotcha. I didn't expect that at all. Well done. Scraler in second place at 508 kilometers and Nat in third at 613. And we have uh, Brady. Can I call you Brady? Or do I? I can go with your full name as well. I don't care. Uh, I'll stick to Brady until you tell me otherwise, though. Uh, let's see. In a fourth, we have Boo Boo, Check, Red, John, uh, Smurf, Habibi, Dirtix, Kirky. Pardlo. Wait, let me. I can do this. The green background is throwing me off. Pardlo, Geo. Uh, I'm st I'll stick with Par for now. Uh, well done. I will zoom in on your location afterwards. Myself, Rob, Seep, Iba, uh, Imba, sorry. Uh, Raptor, Squid, and Price. Red John coming in with the follow as well. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that so much. You've no idea. Uh, let's see. I'm going to zoom in on number 12 uh, to see what that location is. It'll be over here then, right? There you go. You found Yo Brady with the follow as well. Awesome. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Jefferson Avenue in the middle of Vancouver. That is not bad. That is not a bad one, is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Uh, Brady is fine. Awesome. Love that. I love shortening your guys' names because there's a lot of names and that is fine. Uh, that's the way I have to do it. All right, round number two coming up. Here we go. Two more minutes on the clock. Holy shoot. Look at that. That is some red wood in this forest. I love that. I must call you Nat8412. I know I technically should, because I know there's a story there. 
Uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'm so used to calling you that now, though. I like that. I like that. We'll see. You know. I do. I keep saying that you do have, uh, like, name autonomy. So that you... I mean, let me know how to pronounce your names. But I can't promise that I'll be able to. So... I'm just waiting for someone with a really long, complex name come in and insist that I read out the entire name. That's not gonna happen. You know, it's gonna be a problem. Look at these bad boys though, what the hell? Scraler absolutely nailing this one at 65 kilometers. Price getting even closer at 2.4. I have a feeling this is gonna be a famous location. And for those of you who are new, I am very bad with famous locations. Uh, okay, time is actually up though. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out the guesses here and then I'll make my own guess. You'll have five seconds because I didn't call it out. So five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Time is up. It's my turn. Where am I gonna end up here? I have a feeling this is definitely gonna be the Redwood Forest. I think it's in the US, but I'm not entirely sure where it is. That's kind of the main problem here. I know it's probably on the west coast. I know it's probably in California. Give me like one second to scroll through this really quick. I could be way further up north as well though. Oregon, Washington maybe? Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I don't know which. Right? Ha, ah, what if we go... What if we go right here? Looks like a beautiful place. Right there. Right there, why not? <laughs> Seems like you're also not good with famous locations. I'm glad then, I'm glad. Meh. Uh. So, hey, here in my mouth. I don't know if that's a, uh, th this is actually a famous one, but look at these bad boys though. They feel famous. There's a tree you can drive through in Sequoia National Park. I've seen that one and I keep forgetting to look up where it is. So you need to show me on a map sometime. Because I, I want to put that on my US tour uh, destination map. I'm building a map. And then I'll try to connect the dots to hit every single uh, place on my US tour at some point. I'm going to send this one though and we'll see if I'm right. I'm probably not right. But I, I feel like we're definitely on the west coast for sure. Here we go. Okay, yeah, that wasn't too far off. Oh, it is Sequoia. There you go. Thank you for putting that on the map for me. Price crushing this one at 2.4 kilometers. We have a uh, Pardoa. Pardo? Pardoa? Pardolo? Either way. In second place at 23.7. Check in third at 51. And we have Scraler, Nat, 8412, uh, Squid, Smurf, Habibi, uh, Brady, Seep, myself, BNX, Imba, Kirky, Raptor, Boo Boo, Dirtix, Red John, and Rob. Hell yeah. Nice. I'm about to find out. Nice. That sounded way ominous, Nat, 8412. Uh, <laughs> nicely done, though. You went Redwood Forest and you it was wrong. Smurf, no, I'm sorry, I misled you. Where is the Redwood Forest? Number seven? Uh, where is number seven? It's up there. Oh, if I knew, I would have gone there. I mean, I ended up going even further north, though. But still, let's move it on over to run number three here. Here we go. Please don't do the 8412 part, it's weird. too late now, Nat8412, alright? You ask for it, and I will stick to it for the rest of the day. That's your punishment for trying to debate me. Round number three is coming up. Two minutes on the clock. Yeah, let's go. Do your best, chat. Look at these places, though. I'm glad I love this map now. Or liked it, or whatever you call it. I love it. I feel like there's gonna be so many nice locations here. And it hasn't been too hard, which I'm like, okay, it has been hard, right? But it hasn't been like hard in the unfair way. Where like you have to uh, 
You have to be able to uh, recognize the type of mortar used in between these rocks to be able to figure out where this is. We're not at that level, which I like. Oh, this is Nat's song that... Nat 81... Uh, wait, 8412. Doesn't like this song, so I'll switch it on up. There we go. Can we zoom in on the sign? Sure, there you go. I can even zo super zoom on it for you. There you are. Wait, if I do that. There we are. Yo, my life is true coming in. Welcome, my friend. How are you? Are you... Are you uh, is, is it your day off today or what? With an early and laser precise guess there, Rob, as well. How? What are you guys seeing now? I'm not seeing anything. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I mean, I love the location. No, don't get me wrong, but... Where is this? Huh. Half a minute remaining in this round. What else do we have? Not a whole lot. Boo Boo currently in first place position at 169. Uh, didn't get the country though. That's kind of weird, isn't it? A little bit. 10 seconds remaining this round. I'll try to find the sun for you. It's right there. Ow, it's bright. It's to ourselves. You know? How are you missing the countries? You're just that good, Boo Boo. You're just that good. All right, it'll be my turn now. Time is up. I will close out the guesses here. Uh, and then it'll be my turn to make a guess. And it'll be a guess based on not a whole lot. Ah, this could be... Wait. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea here. I feel like this is gonna be the UK or Ireland, but... Could also be. <sighs> no, it's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Okay, or Ireland now. Which one? There's no cars or nothing to help me out. I'm gonna go with the UK. Uh, we'll go way far west. This couldn't be Wales, could it? Nah. But I kinda plonked it. Nah, but wait. I have no idea what these places are, right? I have no idea. I mean, this is a beautiful area, and this looks like it would be a beautiful area. There's a, like a, a, some sort of a park, national park over here. So I'll just plonk it right here. There's a bridge. That's good enough. That's probably it right there. There we go. Oh, check. Almost made it to the first place position there. Habibi, though. Bumping them down. Sucks for Jack. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm probably way wrong on this one, but we'll see. All right. I can see that. That's not the worst. It's not technically got the country right for now. Uh, <laughs> BB, though, crushing this one. A streak of three and a distance of 111 kilometers. Well done. We have Jack in second. So close. At 130. Boo Boo in third at 169. Smurf, uh, Rob, Red John. Just John, right? I could stick with John, couldn't I? Brady, Nat, myself, Parda, Price, Kirky, Scraler, Squid. My life is true. Uh, Dirtix and Raptor. Well done, everybody. Northern Ireland. Yeah, you're right. Unfortunately, that was it. <laughs> But still, beautiful area. Round number four is coming up. Get ready. Two minutes on the clock. Starting... R starting right... Starting right now. There we go. All right. Where is this? Right? Where is this? No spoilers in chat. Where is this? We have the sun. What I hope is the sun anyway. There's shadows and everything. Uh, to our west. So let that guide your guest, chat. We have an 1800 sign followed by this. You know? Who knows? Could this be Argentina? Could it be Singapore? 
Or could it be Australia? Nobody knows, except for Habibi, Boo Boo. My life is okay. Everybody knows so far. Well done, uh, <laughs> Habibi. Though the closest one with a streak of four at a distance of 262 kilometers. Really well done. Is anybody get can get closer than that though? Might be a challenge. 50 seconds to figure it out. Figure it out, chat. You can do this. I believe in you. We'll see. We will see. All right. I don't know what else to call out. Right? The sun to the west. Um, yeah. Vegetation up there. Yeah, this road. Probably helps. Nat's streak died at three. It'll live in infamy, my friend. It's not a bad one. There have been a few really difficult locations so far as well, so I get it. I get it. Smurf's streak is currently the highest one yet. Seven right now. Well done. Time is up, though. So I'm going to close out the guesses here, and then it'll be my turn. I have the weirdest feeling about this one. There's just something, you know? There's something about this one, because... I think this is Norway. But I have never seen this before. This one is really throwing me for a loop. Uh, what else do we have, though? Like, the, the unbroken outer line should normally indicate Finland, but no shot is this Finland, right? No, sorry. No shot is this Finland. Let's see. Brady, yeah, your uh, your flag will update on the next round, by the way. It doesn't update, like, quickly, but on the next round it will. So stick around, please. <laughs> to see if it works, anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna go Finland on this one. I don't get these. None of the power lines fit. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this one in the ring. We're gonna be pretty far north, I'm pretty sure. Just throw myself, like, up here. Good enough. Hey, right, Max coming in as well. How are you, dude? Welcome, welcome. We're about to reveal the fourth round with my guess. Let's see if I'm right. I could be wrong. But I'm not. I, I was wrong on the area, but still. Habibi definitely wasn't, though, with a streak of four now and a distance of 262. Squid in a strong second at 287. And Boo Boo in third at 395. We have Brady, my life is true. Check. Hard, uh, Mr. Kirky, Scraler, myself, Smurf, uh, Nat, Dirtix, Rob, John, Price, and Ember. Really well done, everybody. <laughs> All right, 5k get deported. Uh oh. Well, I need a place to stay, it seems. That was a nice place, though, wasn't it? All right, round number five is coming up. Are you ready? Two minutes on the clock. Here we go. Two minutes. It keeps acting up, the timer does. I have to turn it off, then on again, and there it goes. There it works. Where is this, though? It doesn't help me all that much, does it? I feel like this is going to be a 5 cable location with enough time. But you guys have like a minute and a half and some change to figure this one out. Remember, the uh, convention within the GeoGuessr community is that we do not use Google. So please try not to. I'll just randomly plonk it, you know. I'm happy if I get the country and that's about it. What else do we have here, though? I don't know. Boo Boo with the initial guess at a distance of 7181. Didn't quite get the country, but the distance is good. John overtaking there a little bit at 1654. Still in first place, though, as Max slides into second place. Not second base, but second place. What else? There's a bit of language here, though. That might help out a little bit. Rob is the first one to get the country right at 1469 kilometers. Let's go. 
Is anybody else gonna get it though? With 40 seconds left on the clock. Let's see. Where's the sun? Let's see if I can find it for you. There's literally no shadow. I think it's up there. Right? You have the uh, the compass right there. I would say that it's probably south of us. Right? Probably. That's my guess, anyway. We have my life is true. Ooh, just over two taken by Habibi there. Holy, all right, well. A streak of five for Habibi now. Really strong guesses there. Less than five seconds remains on the clock. So get your guesses in now if you have them. Now is gonna be the time. Habibi <laughs> sniping you for real, probably, right? Are you live right now, though? That is the question. Alright, it'll be... <laughs> that would be kind of cool, actually. Uh, where is this gonna be, though? It's gonna be Indonesia or Malaysia, in my mind. Going off of the language, I would probably say Indonesia. But I could see this being, like, mainland Malaysia as well. Oh, check, you missed it! Damn. Okay, well, we'll we're normally really, really strict about reopening, right? But I feel like for, for once, I'm gonna make a uh, exception uh, and let you in, alright? Just don't steal my guess, alright? Just don't steal my guess. I haven't guessed yet, but I've given you a little bit of information. There you go. It is open for you. I am pretty... Uh, you know, I'll just leave the sentence right there. I'm pretty, alright? <laughs> there we go. Did you get in? Yes, you did. Alright. See, I'm, I'm so, so generous, so kind, so fair, so all of the things is me. Alright, I'm gonna stick with uh, Indonesia because that was my gut feeling on this one. I don't know quite where though, but we'll go up here. I feel like we're never up here. And that's a shame. You know? Plonk it right there. And what are you gonna do about it? Wait, that looks like a national park thing and this looks like a national park thing. There's no water in here, though. Wait, we're looking for a lake of some sort, aren't we? It could just be coastline, too, though. Water to our north? Yeah, I like the guess up here better. Right there. That's probably good. Let us go ahead and do it. Let us do it. There we go. Boom. And it ended up being Indonesia. I recognized the uh, the language, but I didn't know about the place. And this was... Uh, what was the name of this place? Oh, damn it, it's so long. The, the Wadalentang Reservoir, right? Nailed it? Oh, yeah. Habibi, though, in first place. A streak of five now and a distance of 90 kilometers. Well done. We have My Life is True in second at 162. Parda in third at 260. And we have Kirky, Squid, Price, Brady, Rob, Smurf, uh, John, Scraler, Check. All the way in the middle there. I don't know what happened there, but you got in at least. Uh, myself, Max, Dirtix, Boo Boo, Nat, and No J. Well done, everybody. Let's zoom out and look at the uh, spread there for you, Dirtix. Keep in mind, we do not make fun of anybody's guesses in this channel. As I spread out, or as, as I zoom out <laughs> to look at the spread. It's just because I'm curious, alright? I will time you out if you make fun of other people's guesses. Trust me on that one. There we go, an interesting spread. But I absolutely get it. I absolutely get it. Well done. That was a beautiful location, though. These locations were beautiful, and you're right. We'll see who runs away with the uh, gold medal on this one, though, as we open up the summary. Uh, let me just check something there as well. All right, all right. Well, the winner is Ha VB with the win. Show me some clappers, chat. Show me some clappers in chat. Well done, Ha VB. Absolutely dominating that one for a streak of five at the end, a distance of 23, 36 kilometers accumulated, uh, and a score of 19,435. We have Farda taking second place just behind at a streak of four. Distance of 24 12, uh, a 19 a 335 score at the end there. We have Czech in third. Uh, no streak for Czech though. Uh, <laughs> to 33 87 kilometers accumulated there. 
and a score of 17,747. And then we have Scraler, Brady, Squid, Nat, Smurf, Kirky, myself, Boo Boo, My Life is True, Price, John, Rob, BNX, Dirtex, Seep, do we have more? Imba, Raptor, Max, and No J. Keep in mind that not everyone was able to participate in every single round, so that's gonna skew the uh, results a little bit, but still. All right, uh, do you guys want to do one more, or are you sick of me? Because all it takes is for you to say that you're sick of me, and I'll hit the stop streaming button right now. That's all it takes. You know? <laughs> GG's all around, yeah, well done. Pardo wants another one. All right. All right, Nat, thank you so much again. Have an awesome day, all right? And I'll talk to you again soon. Have an awesome one. We have a Mapperdeem, yeah, coming in from Dirtux. God damn it, it's this one. All right, let's do it. Let's do a Mapperdeem. Uh, before we do, though, I'm going to go ahead and do what we normally do. Uh, between every single round, I run a quick ad break. It's the shortest one possible, and it's only so that we can get rid of the pre-rolls and so that you don't get interrupted with ads in the middle of a round as we're counting down towards the uh, the bottom, right? So uh, I will see you in like 20 seconds. Let me know when you're back, all right? I appreciate you. See you soon. I'll set up the things meanwhile. Don't worry. There we go. Okay. Uh, the map redeemed though on this one. Let's see. It's going to be uh, fun with flags coming in from uh, Dirtix. You know I hate fun with flags, but we'll do it. It is Sinner's map. It's not that it's a bad map. It's that I'm really bad at flags. So, you know, this one's going to be painful for me. But that's fine. But that's fine. All right. I think this is going to be the last map redeem, though, of the day. But, uh, yeah. You love it because you love flags. I love that you love them. I love that, actually. Late night shanty? What is shanty? That sounds so familiar. The disappointment when I saw the map redeem. God damn it, though. I mean, I I want to get better at maps. All right, I really, honestly do. Uh, but it feels like starting again from scratch. It's like starting with the country streaks, right? But it's so much worse because there's so much, there's so many more of them and so many more details. Some of them are kind of similar, and uh, it feels like starting from scratch, but that's all right, you know. Rob, you're back. Thank you so much, my friend, for letting me know. Okay, so we've set everything up. I've just been talking about how much I hate flags, but, but the map redeem is a fun with flags one, so we'll do it quickly. What we will do, though, is we'll have one minute rounds because you don't want to be sat there just looking at a flag for two minutes, right? So, the way that we normally do it is, fun with flags is one minute rounds, and, uh, we still do moving, don't we? I think we do. Not moving, sorry, no move, but we still do pan and zoom. Um. Oh, there is a website where you can learn the continent by continent. I might actually use that one at some point. I would like to get better at them. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it is an important thing to know, right? Here we go, though. Five one minute rounds of fun with flags. Sinner's map. Let's go. Let's see if I can learn something today. I might be able to. I think I know this one. Right? Do it. Am I am I gonna struggle on this one? I shouldn't. Let me think for a bit. You know, we have time. We have like 40 seconds to figure this one out. Dirtix got it at 1.6 kilometers. Well done. I'm, I, by the way, I'm not reading out distances on Fun With Flags, by the way. So if you get the country right, you get the country right. If you don't, that's fine. So we'll mainly be looking at the streak numbers up here. Um, the ones that have a number got the country right. The ones with zeros didn't, that's fine. I'm going to make a really stupid guess on this one. It is not an easy one, right? Let me know if I'm super far off on these ones, right? I'll tell you my uh, thought process in a minute. Because the way that I'll do it is that even though I know that this one probably doesn't check out, I'm still gonna guess whichever one is closest. Just so that I can actually... Can I look around? I'll give you a quick spin. I can't look for too long though, because that'll be a super unfair advantage. There you go. 
Uh, to me, this is a 50-50 one. Time is up, though. I'm going to close out the guesses here. And then I'll make my own guess. I'm actually dreading this one. Uh, so I'll call out the ones that I think this one could be. This one is either going to be like... It's not Costa Rica, right? But I feel like it could be Guatemala. Could be Nicaragua. Could be... Uh, I was My initial guess was North Korea, let me tell you. Alright? That was my initial guess on this one. Like, could this possibly be North Korea? I don't think it could be. Um, but it is a photosphere. And I think the colors fit, kinda. And it's kinda like an inverted uh, Thailand one as well. I think... I think I'll just go with one of these. Just hope for a... You know, getting a little bit closer kind of a deal. The color is fit nice. Okay, cool. But the rest of it doesn't, right? I'm pretty sure. Maybe the lines fit as well from what I remember, but the setup doesn't. I'll just go with Nicaragua. Break it. Let's do it. There we go. Pretty sure I'm wrong on this one, but there we go. You know, I'm pretty happy with that one. It was Costa Rica. All right. Dirtix absolutely crushing that one, though. Petco in second, getting it as well. Boo Boo as well. Again, I, I will default back to reading distances because I keep forgetting. Uh, Dirtix is very close, though, at 1.6 kilometers. Never mind. All of these beautiful people got it. The rest didn't. That's fine. Uh, it's about a 50-50 split. That's pretty interesting. Really well done. Round number two is coming up. A minute to figure the flag out. I won't start the uh, clock until I've found the actual flag, though. There we go. A minute on the clock. Good luck. Good luck with this one. I do this. Beautiful. Petco, you are beautiful. You really are beautiful, alright? And... Turkey almost got it wrong. The Thai flag is so similar. It is though, right? I'm glad I was able to name it, at least. I mean, at least you get to see how my brain works a little bit. You know? At least I'm not... I got close. I'm happy with that one. I had some thoughts about it. It wasn't just like, what the hell is this? And just throw a random guess in. 15 seconds remaining. As a lot of people have been able to get this one so far, I think I will be able to. Uh... Mainly because I know this one is part of the country streaks rotation. And like I've mentioned many times before, I was horrible at geography. Even worse, at fla uh, vexology, that's what it's called, right? The, the flag thing. Um, but the one definitely improved after I started with the other, so... Here we go. Time is up, it'll be my turn. This is gonna be a qualified guess, I'd say. This is Botswana. I'm pretty sure this is Botswana. The same color as the Argentinian one, right? Do you have to mark the capital? No. Nope. As, as long as you get the country itself right, that should be uh, should be good. But I will mark the capital because it makes sense, especially for Botswana. Uh, here we go. Yeah, that works. All right, all of these absolutely stunningly beautiful people got it. Some didn't, and that is completely fine. Completely fine. Don't even worry about it. Uh, I, like I said, the only reason why I was able to recognize it is because I've seen Botswana so many times in Country Streaks, and I've played this quite a bit now. I mean, that said, I still miss the Costa Rican flag, now that I think about it. So no excuse there for me, really. That's fine. Round number three is coming up. Back still with a good guess. All of you guys with good guesses, by the way. Nicely done. Here we go. A minute on the clock. Where is this, chat? I wonder. It's obviously an area with uh, a little bit of a simple way to think there. You see, I mean, you could have gone with anything and you went with a leaf. All right. That's where's the originality? You know what I mean? Thank you. <laughs> I'm joking, chat. I'm joking. I love the uh, the flag of this country. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Any language? I can... Do that. That'll give you something if I do this. Maybe? 
Saviara coming in with the follow. Thank you. I hope you didn't come in with the follow on the back of me making fun of the game, of the flag of this country that I'm not supposed to name until it's been like five more seconds. Uh, <laughs> it might be in. Oh, you're right. It could be the embassy. Do this real quick for you then. I mean, there's no other flags, and this is fun with flags, so I'll stick with this one. There we go. Alright, time is up. I will close out the guesses here, and then it'll be my turn. This... This one I feel like I'm gonna get. Right? This is obviously the Peruvian flag. Here we go. I'm gonna go with Lima, uh, because it's the capital, and uh, probably gonna be the closest one. Here we go. Uh, no, I'm, I'm joking. This is Canada. None of it, though. That is all the way up here, isn't it? There you go. None of it. None of it. Uh, but I mean, there's nothing up there. What am I gonna... What am I even gonna plonk here? There's nothing. I mean, there are people, but I, I'm not seeing roads or settlements or anything. I don't know where I'm supposed to look. I don't know where I'm supposed to look. Further north? Wait. No way. No shot. Really? No way. We're not... Oh, we are up there. You know what? Let's just plonk this one. Little bit of cheating there on my end. That's fine. That's fine. That is so far north, though. I mean, if you look at Norway, right? It's... You could go further. It's fine. All right, it's my turn. Let's send this one and see if I'm right. I was right. Oh, I could have gone even further. <laughs> I'm not going to count this one kind of distance-wise because I did look at chat, you know. You know, I'm sorry. Uh, I had to do it, though. I had to do it. I love Canada. Uh, distance of 578 kilometers. Why am I reading out distances? I'm not supposed to. I keep forgetting. Simil with the follow as well. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. We have uh, all of these beautiful people getting it. No one got it wrong, actually. Well done, everybody. Well done. Yo, and Roger as well. Thank you, thank you for the follow. I hope that you're having a beautiful uh, Sunday afternoon. Hell yeah. Or morning. Could be morning. I don't know. But I hope it's a beautiful one either way. Round number four is coming up. We'll keep a minute on the clock. Good luck, chat. Oh, no. Oh, I remember this one from the other day. I mean, I, I remember seeing this one from the other day. But I don't remember where this is. Do I? I might. I definitely might. Okay, I have a guess in mind. I won't say it out loud, though. Seep definitely knew nailing the country. A streak of four now for, for a flag map. That is well done. Let's see. It is definitely the same location, but I have seen a few locations since the last time. So we'll see if I'm right. We'll see how my, my brain mush, uh, you know, operates now. See if it actually works. If I can actually recall it. Because at least that would mean that my, uh, my, uh, knowledge of flags has gotten a little bit stronger since the last time, which I'm happy about. Less than 10 seconds remaining. Get your guesses in, people. Get your guesses in. Oh, I see a few new names on the uh, list there as well. I think. I don't think I've seen Oko before. Light beard in the air as well. Hey, I like your name. I don't know. Does my beard count as light? Is this a light beard right here? It's got some light shade to it, maybe. I don't know. All right. Time is up. I'm going to go ahead and close out the guesses here. So get your guesses in now. Uh, I do try to accommodate stream delay as, as best I can, but it is tricky. It is definitely tricky. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is more than likely. Um, this is more than likely Kyrgyzstan, right? Am I wrong here? I don't think I am. And I can't remember where that was though. I mean, the country I remember, well, where in the country? It's probably right outside of here. Right there. Perfect. Let's see if I'm right. I think I'm right. I think I'm actually right on this one. Oh. Uh-huh. 
Oh. Guess I was. Guess I was close, though. That's pretty, alright? Right? No? Right? Bit, bit. Oh, cold. Absolutely nailing it. Getting really close as well. But all of these beautiful people got him. These people didn't, and that's fine. Uh, that is fine. Except for this guy right here, number 14. He should have known better. Because I know he's seen that flag before. That's fine. I did get pretty close, and... Oh, the flags are similar? I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that. See, the thing is, for me now, I don't even think about the countries that aren't in the normal country streaks rotation. Which is kind of a problem. It throws me off a bit, because I, I keep thinking, oh, obviously, there's not going to be anything down there, because there's no coverage there. But of course there is. Of course there is. Kurdish on one is red with something yellow in the middle. Oh, well. I mean, pretty close anyway. I mean, you could walk this distance in like a day. It's fine. It's not even a problem. Here we go. Round number five coming up. A minute on the clock. Good luck, chat. I believe you. Here we go. What is this flag, though? I'll give you the quick 360 on this one just in case. Just in case. There's something over there, but... I'm pretty sure this is what we're looking for here. Where is this? One of the Smurfs got it early. I don't know which one still, but check as well. Pardalot got it. No J got it. Well done, everybody, so far. Again, do not worry if you didn't get it. It's fine. It's completely fine. You see the C. Nope, I don't. I don't see anything. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. That's fine. Five seconds remaining though, so now would be the time to get those gases in, people. Now would be the time. You know? Yo, Max and Seep and a bunch of people with super close gases. Well done. It'll be my turn now. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is more than likely Israel. Uh, and the whole seeing the sea thing kind of tipped me off a little bit. I don't know how far in you'd have to be not to see the sea though, but probably in this region. Right there. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's send it and find out. There we go. Oh, Lightbear didn't get in. I'll reopen it for you. Uh, we normally, we never do that. But I'll make an exception for you so that you can get in. I'll give you like three seconds just to plonk it. Don't steal my guess though. All right, do not steal my guess. I will scream and cry and kick and shout and spit and uh, all the things are things that I do. Here we go. Boom. It was. There we go. A lot of people got Actually, everybody got it. Well done. Really well done. Hell yeah. All right. Well done all around. Let's open it up to the summary here. See who... Uh... Actually, the summary doesn't really matter. I mean, some of you do play for distance. So let's open up the summary and you can have a look. See what you think. See where you ended up. Boom. Max with the gold medal. Sprayler in second. Myself in third. Streak of one, though. Bunch of people got... You know what? Everyone who has a streak of five or more got every single country in that round. Well done. GG's all around. I feel like everyone did really well. Everyone did really well. I'm happy with that one. I still hate flags. There's so many of them. And they're so, you know, flapping all over the place and... You know? All their colors showing off. Ugh. I love them, though. It's fine. Eventually, we'll get better at them. I think, however, that that is going to do it for me for today. Um, please do stick around for the raid if you uh, if you can. If you, uh, if you would. I always appreciate that because I like raiding people. Spreading the love out and, you know, all of that. Let me just do this for you. We're going to roll the credits as, as well. I want to thank every single one of you for uh watching hanging out with me chatting guessing playing you know even if you're lurking that's completely fine as well i always have such a great time with you 
Uh, I think that today we are going to go ahead and throw it on over to a person that we haven't been able to uh, to uh, raid for a bit. Yo, Pardalo coming in with the follow there as well. Thank you, my friend. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, I hope that you guys have a beautiful rest of your Sunday, all right? It is the end of the weekend, and I will be back again, hopefully already tomorrow. Tomorrow around 3 o'clock, 3 to 4 o'clock Norway time, all right? Today, we're going to go ahead and raid Dustin, uh, because I feel like we haven't done that in a while. I think... I think he just went online, you know? So join in, click the little join raid button at the top of your uh, your chat uh, box, whatever you call it. And I want to thank again Daydream for the raid, of course. Uh, massive raid coming in. Definitely had fun with that. GG's, yeah, I'll see you again later. Stay beautiful, people. All right. Here is Dustin with some more GeoGuessr for you. Bye-bye. <laughs>